Welcome to iPad Pros, the show all about using your iPad to be productive and get work done. I'm Tim Chen, host of the show. Hello there, and welcome to the special release of iPad Pros. First off, thank you for spending 2020 listening to iPad Pros. I know there are a ton of podcasts out there, so it really does mean a lot that you spend your time listening to this one. To close out 2020, I asked Charlie Chapman and Matt Birchler to join me to provide a commentary track to the original iPad introduction keynote from January 2010. Charlie's the developer of Dark Noise, who you can hear on episode 85 of this podcast, and Matt's work you can find over at birchtree.me. He was also on episodes 74 and 92 of this podcast. For this release of the show, I'm releasing a special video version where I do the work to sync up the audio to the high resolution video file Apple provides from their Apple Keynotes podcast feed. As long as YouTube holds up and doesn't delist the video, you can find that at iPadPros.net or on my YouTube channel. The Patreon supporters will also have a special upload of the video right there directly over at patreon.com slash iPadPros. The video does get taken down. I used a chapter marker to indicate the start of the commentary, so that should help you sync it up. In the show notes, I will also link the episode from Apple's Keynotes podcast feed found in Apple Podcasts so you can get a nice clean version of the keynote that we use to watch this ourselves. With that, Happy New Year's, everyone. And here's to an amazing 2021. Enjoy, and thanks for listening. Hello there, and welcome to this special New Year's Eve iPad Pros release. And uh, joining me today for this special release, uh, Charlie Chapman. Welcome to the podcast. Hey. How's it going? Very good. Um, it's, uh, I guess... I didn't bring any cel- cel- celebratory uh, beverages, but uh, it is New Year's Eve when this is releasing. Oh, right. Yes, yes. Put myself <laughs> in New Year's uh, mindset here. Right. Okay. We are ending 2020. A 2020 <laughs> strong with the look back yeah. 10 years ago. Uh, Matt, how are you doing today, Matt? I'm doing great. I'm happy to be here. Excited to have uh, you as well. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be doing a commentary on the original iPad introduction pack and January 2010, and um, this is out as an audio podcast, but I'm also in the YouTube. I'll have a link to the YouTube as well here. I'm going to edit our audio of this into the original video, and hopefully Apple doesn't yank the video in some way. We'll see if that happens. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But yeah, we're going to just share our thoughts as we go and rewatch this amazing introduction to that first iPad, so... Sit back, relax, and enjoy our uh, our dulcet tones on <laughs> Steve Jobs at his best. <laughs> um, so, are you guys ready? Let me count down here. Uh, five, four, three, two, one, start. Hi. Hey, we got Steve on stage. <laughs> Thanks for coming today. So how long has it been since you guys have seen this? Thank you. I think for me, it's uh, since it, it originally aired. I don't think I've watched through it since then. Thank you. Yeah, I think uh, same for me, although I might have seen like a highlight reel of Steve Jobs clips sometime on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I've seen, and, and you know, you uh, at least today. clips of him sitting um, on the couch. Uh, doing we his thing many times since you know every year uh, when we do our retrospectives on the ipad or whatever <laughs> right <laughs> yeah i love that he had a couch for this it's like this is how you're going to be using this device and i guess we've transitioned to using uh, desks and stuff more and more <laughs> is an update about iPods. Uh, oh gosh i love that old iPod. a few weeks ago <laughs> we sold it still Our looks pretty good. <laughs> it really does. I really wish they'd make an Apple Music iPod that's not iOS. <laughs> Just a dedicated little iPods have changed thing, the way we you know. discover and purchase uh, and enjoy music. Yeah. 10 years ago, and we had tons of iPods. And now of them, I just didn't want to let this moment pass without it. Yeah. I actually, I, I, I looked at this uh, previously and. Just to check, so it looks like in nine years they sold 250 million iPods. Um, In 2018, which I think is the last year they told us about iPhone numbers, they sold 217 million. So basically the same number of iPhones in a year (laughs) as the iPod did in a decade. And the cost of an iPod was (laughs) a little bit less. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of shuffles in that number. (laughs) Yeah. 
visitors nor did the stores. ipad have a uh, app store i guess it had itunes it, it had uh, yeah. some games <laughs> yeah it had a game store on it for a little bit it wasn't did it really yeah you could buy the yeah. games it was very slow oh my goodness though so. Like there were, I feel like there were like ten though. Like it was, in, like you could spend fifty bucks and have them all or something. Like, yeah. <laughs> totally. So I mean, this is a safe space, right? Yeah. Uh, I guess this is where I admit I've never owned an iPad. Uh, I was a Dell DJ uh, guy, and then and then Zune later. <laughs> oh, the Zune. I have purchased an iPod that I gave to my girlfriend now wife. Uh, but uh, I n I never owned one myself. I own every model. Um, Next and up, several, wow. and several colors. I wrote Store a book on it, so I have lit over. Oh, 50, wow. I have over fifty Incredible iPods, uh, every generation, every type. Uh, yeah. <laughs> iPhone, users, and iPod I still have a third generation the shuffle, the stainless steel Apple Limited, new in box. <laughs> now. Wow. So that was like an exclusive and Apple store, and it looked terrible once you opened it up. So I grabbed one. <laughs> a user downloaded the three billionth. Application from the app store. So three billion downloads. How many? Months. How many downloads do we think we have a year at this three point? Three billion applications in, in 2010. No. Uh, oh, right in now. like 2020. <laughs> oh, good. Do we have a billion a year? We started downloads. I bet. I bet you we have a billion every week. <laughs> Thirty-four years later, we just ended our holiday quarter. Oh, First Apple is such a small company back then. Yeah. <laughs> with $15.6 six billion of revenue. And this is post iPhone Apple. So this is like <laughs> still like amazing. Yeah. Like, the, like ever, everyone's thrilled about these numbers. Yeah, this so is yeah. The, uh, every year it like triples Apple or something. <laughs> right. $50 billion company. Yeah, so 2010, three years well, after like iPhone. So what, we're in the 3GS era? But it is pretty amazing. The 3G? Now, 3GS, where does right? Apple get this uh, 3GS, yeah, that'd be the iPhone products. right now, because this was January, I think, <laughs> Oh, that's 2010. Because, yeah, they announced this, like, five months, I think, now, before it really came out. It didn't come out till the summer. Yeah, April April is when it launched. Mobile devices. April, okay. Yeah. Yeah. iPhones are all mobile devices, and most of the Macs that we ship now are laptops. So, They're mobile this is devices Steve's too. Uh, presenting Apple that they are good at mobile devices, <laughs> that's what and we'll that hasn't do. changed. Yep, a case they don't really have to make anymore. No. <laughs> yeah, it is wild how the beginnings of their keynotes used to always be the these, like, we are a legitimate devices. company, and this is <laughs> how amazing <laughs> we are. I feel like they the don't really have to do that too much anymore. I mean, they'll still throw a big number up, but it feels like there's a lot less focus it's on amazing. we're winning. Apple yeah. Yeah. I miss the, the big numbers Sony's with, like, the smoke effects business? and, like, slamming it. Right. Like, yeah, I guess yeah. it's the iMessage, like, slam effect, Amazon basically, is what they <laughs> pioneered. It's I mean, it's really Samsung's important here to introduce the iPad to just say, say we're a mobile device company and, and we're revenue, making another one, it's even bigger <laughs> I guess. Than Nokia's mm -hmm. mobile devices business with all of the handsets yeah. that they sell. Apple is the number Nokia. one mobile Nokia device was big back company then. Yeah, in the world. Part of Microsoft? So those are yeah, they actually still kind of do this. Remember they did this with the Apple so Watch? They would put, like, here's the biggest the watchmakers oh, yeah. in the world, and then, like, we're number one. Like, yep. we, beat, we just beat Rolex or whoever sucks. the top seller was. Yeah. And then they'll never mention the competitor's name again. Yeah. Right. Like, we're, we're beyond <laughs> you. But before we the get tablet. to that... <laughs> what was the uh, rumored names of this thing? So it was... When Apple... What? We were thinking it was like a Mac Apple tablet. Isolate, Isolate was the big one, I think. Right? Yeah, Isolate. Yeah. yeah. I think by the this time we got the to the keynote, we knew it was going to be called computer. iPad, but nobody could believe it. Because they had gotten in that like trademark dispute with like a Taiwanese with company problems. or something. and laptop that had a tft screen right yeah yeah first I, I i remember we weren't sure what, like what it was um i, I still remember like it was either the night before or the morning of like a picture of it leaked case, yeah it was on from like table. backstage well, yeah and it was on the home later, screen and it was just like the grid of icons and I, I still remember like one of the mac rumors comments like maybe the top comment was ago, oh it's just a big Apple iphone and like i feel like that's the entire ipad conversation for the past decade yeah yes people saying oh it's just a big big iphone what are you talking about and people are like no, it's so much more. <laughs> and so, I'm uh, Safari just uh, use <laughs> like restarted my video. And smartphones. This web page is reloaded because it's using Everybody too much memory. Everybody uses a laptop 
That's why you need to download uh, the video from the podcast feed. And the question is arisen. Uh, that's what I should have done. Lately. All right, what's your timestamp? Is the uh, room six minutes for a fifty third seconds? Category of device in the seconds. middle. Okay. Something that's between a laptop and a smartphone. Maybe I should have been doing this and on my iPad. And of course, we've pondered iPad. this question hey, for years <laughs> as well. I missed that original the iPhone. I love that that's the one he has on stage. In order and not, to really um, create a new category of devices, those devices are going to have to be far better at doing some key tasks. They're going to have to be far better. So what's better the iPad better at, at than really uh, the new laptop? Better than the laptop. <laughs> better oh man, I feel like this is a slide that gets into that argument as well where <laughs> he's going to show like all of these like, like it's good for email it's good for browsing right. the web it's good for these work. casual things Something but like he yeah. doesn't like there's nothing the worky laptop? or anything on here okay yeah and people are like see it was never email. supposed to be for that <laughs> yeah Enjoying there is an element workers. of steve jobs as a founding father and we're all arguing Video. about what he Watching what he originally videos. intended as if that's what really matters right Enjoying right. your music collection and uh, some people's job is entirely e email. It's what they do for a living. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> a, a lot of people's of job is entirely email. That was the thing about it. That was so such a big deal. A yeah. Or a smartphone. Otherwise, it has no reason for being. It's funny. E-books. I would never want to read a book on the laptop. Some people have thought. Um, just saying. That's a netbook. I don't know. People do that, I guess. The problem is, netbooks aren't better at books anything. Books are good at anything. I oh, love that this. Day. This is what I miss about not having Steve anymore. Is like, this, it's he's so mean. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. yeah, yeah, that is true. It's hard to imagine Tim Cook uh, being just mean, so, right? <laughs> or taking like really cheaper. snarky they're snipes, cheap, right? He's like, there's these smartwatches on the market, and they're terrible. <laughs> they should be ashamed. I'm gonna have the text. Fall off the screen, it's so we bad. Something <laughs> we did something good. And we like right. to You're welcome. show it to you today for the first time. And we call it the iPad. Now, iPad. What was your all original reaction to this? Was it positive and you saw you saw the light, so to speak? Yeah, I was I started a podcast about it right away. iPad possibilities oh, wow. okay. <laughs> podcast. And I, I yeah, I was so excited for this thing. Right here. Yeah. I was thrilled for it, but I was like just out of college and had no money so that's what it looks like <laughs> yeah i was still in college Very and good. to me well one i was i was a a big mac person but also an android person so this era of apple was like constantly disappointing me because i wanted them to give the mac focus <laughs> and they obviously weren't uh but being an android and person can, uh, like i always watched apple keynotes one because they were good but two because we they like would either take an idea from android watch. and finally bring it to the world because yeah. android could never get people to actually adopt and things or they would like <laughs> come up with something new that eventually android would get and so that was exciting and i remember watching this and just being deeply disappointed that it wasn't like some clever new thing it, it literally felt like right oh it's just an iphone blown up which <laughs> Now, obviously, I realize that that is a thing that is important, but I was just like, ah, oh, I wanted to see something cool and new. And yeah, I don't know. The way that the iPhone felt like different. Uh, like a whole new operating system. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. When I first used the iPhone in the Apple Store originally, I was just like envisioning a bigger screen at some point, and it's like they finally did it. It's like I, 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 yeah, I when I first used iPhones, like, this would be so good if it was larger. Phenomenal for mail. Want to focus I on love how huge these bezels that. are in this first iPad. <laughs> yeah. Again, just yeah, it's amazing. And just how thick it is. Oh, yeah, the curved back and everything. It yeah. felt good to hold, Push but it was window, very a thick. Pops up that's yeah, I actually right have an original size. iPad still. It's a dream um, to type on. And it it it, it is is it, it's not it doesn't feel Photos, that old no comparatively like it's 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 definitely thicker than we're used to but man it's it's still pretty decent. I miss this Photos app. It was so much fun like pinching into stacks and stuff. Great slideshows built in. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful way to share your that old slideshow button on the lock screen. Like, built in a calendar. Yeah. <laughs> you see your month's activities or your day's activities and everything in between. For me I didn't fully appreciate it until I started seeing it in the wild. And the way I saw the iPad in the wild was backend. all through older through generation maps, people. Like my grandpa's news, sister got one. Things. She's the first person I ever saw with one. And again, that sounds weird that that's like the avenue by which I saw new technology. But <laughs> seeing them, like we were like on a vacation and we were, we were with them in like Alabama or something. And uh, 
and they just pulled it up and pulled up maps and were quickly like setting up where we're going to go the next day and then they bounced over to their email to get whatever their plan was or something and i was like oh this is so much like simpler than my laptop and you can actually do something on it which i can't do on my phone just because of how small it was yeah uh, and it was android so it was a little janky and of course, uh, at that time. It's awesome to watch TV shows and movies on. Yeah, I so that gives you a little was, this was my last semester in college when this came out. Can do. Um, so but I got to use it for like, like a couple it. weeks so or months in school setting, and that was like really cool um, to do. Um, yeah, I had two iPads originally, so I got a 3G and a Wi-Fi, so I'd use one as a reference so screen and then be working the on the other one. <laughs> the original so uh, multi-pad capable. lifestyle. Yeah, day yeah. one, multi-pad day one. Large display. Hey, need to back So <laughs> this is the lock screen. I unlock it. The icons fly in. Let's uh, go YouTube right as a native app, officially. So here we are at yeah. Apple.com. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just going to go to Safari. It's amazing how much Google and icon. Facebook is going to be shown and in this. Right. Times, <laughs> Google Maps is built in. And here we are, right at the New York it's Times. It's amazing that iMac looks identical it to is. it today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Just, uh, it's like, it hasn't here. changed at all. And look at the whole... I think what you mean is the industrial design has stayed consistent. Go, yes. I <laughs> oh, look at the Flash uh, uh, plug-in missing on New York Times. Oh, if I man. want to go into a story. I, I saw the checkerboarding there too while he was scrolling. Yeah. <laughs> but it would still scroll, which is it would t- no, it was brilliant. It yeah. was just like that was a good implementation. A really clever way to hide it. There's another flash. More flash. I've mi- I, oh, I think he makes a comment about it, doesn't he? And so I can browse Probably. around the New York Times. I think he made some so sort of snipe like, about how it loaded fast. Yeah, it's yeah, the checkerboard doesn't have flash or something. Here. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> There's no way you can checkerboard Safari at this point, I don't think, no matter this, what page size. <laughs> See what's happening today? I love him commenting on the news and again, that he's just so easy to go into a story right like this. <laughs> it's great. See the yeah, it is like the, story. the pacing of it's a job's uh, demo is website, so here. different. Uh, let's go to Time and Magazine. You, and you now. see Jobs' delight see in what website. they've created in a way that doesn't feel that commercial to me. I don't know. It's just like, mm-hmm. I'm just delighted with what we made. <laughs> well, especially what's like compared to the 2020 events that we've had and like the videos, uh, which are great. Bang, bang. Like they're incredibly like Why produced and everything, to but a it's a totally different tone from Grab just like your CEO sitting on the couch using it and like pretending and he's just casually... Yeah. using the product and not just like so here at apple we're super excited to it like it's great hands. but <laughs> this is so it's, it's just so different right yeah maybe it wouldn't fly today but it, it's it's uh it's refreshing a little bit it is yeah and again it helps you know, when the product look at this in landscape mode if we'd is like. uh, revolutionary maybe is a little Go back to little extreme but mm-hmm. I mean, certainly the iPhone, the original iPhone, though, it really was like showing it in this casual way was important to Mm -hmm. showing how casual of a device it could be. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, the web was so slow back then. I I mean, this is taking forever to to load. (laughs) This is shocking. (laughs) (laughs) Did you see, you know, actually, one that uh, is similar to me was, uh, oh, oh, shoot, what's his name? Uh, At Microsoft. Whenever he so, did the, I don't know if you watched that is his. Browsing the web. I guess you'd call Let's it. Go to email. Keynote. It wasn't really that of so the. Uh, message, the Surface uh, Duo. Is that the okay. one? Okay. Yeah, yeah. The flip out one. The phone. Yeah. His name. I can't remember what his name is. I can turn it uh, oh, sideways God. like this, and I can also browse. Anyway, forget. Yeah. Uh, if you watch that, it web. is riveting in a very similar way as this, um, where Take a look and see what, uh, he's just very sort of. Here's another one. This is the, uh, calmly Paris talking Metro. about this thing that you can tell he's super proud of. I can just, uh, um, it's not polished yeah, in the way that a Jobs one is, but it it has the I same feel the, uh, that Jobs keynotes Metro would Metro. work so hard to make it feel like casual. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Whereas theirs absolutely oh, felt casual because there was a lot more bugs. And, you know, they're shooting it PDF. kind of like a... Uh, infomercial kind of deal and so he's talking to the camera guys like uh eh, is the reflection on there right now you know and then he'd like show a certain thing and <laughs> but it had that same level of calm charisma uh yeah. that these do that's the closest so i can think of in modern times i would recommend watching now, that if, if you ever to, uh, uh, reply to a message, if you ever 
<laughs> just looking for interesting uh, product announcement <laughs> keynotes, and, uh, as one does. Keyboard. It's and amazing how mail really hasn't changed that much. Like, chiller. visually, it's and, uh, modern, yeah. but the design is almost the same, it feels, looking at this. Mm -hmm. like, Photos, not so much. Yeah. You can... Like you can still flip your iPad vertical to get rid of the sidebar. Yeah, there we go. It's that <laughs> yeah. interesting, like focusing your emails by iPad. going vertical. It's like okay. Yeah. Next, let's it's go into photos. photos. Yeah, this photos this app. Photos I just I miss. Like. I really miss I can, uh, the old photos as thing a, where it's just like you had like a map again, that was like a special tab. Now you have to like through. do some look at secret like sauce to try to find the map. Tapping on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the Photos yeah. app is a weird case of, like, everything is better now, but it's landscape. not necessarily like, as, like, magical. Yeah, not as magical, not as fun. But that probably the, describes a I lot of The memories thing in the widgets has, and like, made if I'm on a Mac, that uh, I can really cool to just discover stuff. But, yeah, it's not the fun, photo. magical experience that used to be. Yeah. I, can look yeah. I mean, they've got all these, like, example. awesome photo uh, controls. It's basically got, like, Lightroom uh, level controls you know, over photos and does, like, a ton of cool stuff. Open, but, no, yeah, I mean, like, look at that. Like, pinch look to zoom. Yeah, I know. That's, like, covering, like, it's so good. This must be the one. It's so good. I'd love a third party. I don't know if a third party is, like, recreate. That'd be fun to recreate that app as a... Left or right? As like an iOS 14 app or something. Mm -hmm. I think you might uh, run into issues really uh, <laughs> trying to get that in the store, though. You think? Yeah, maybe. Just a photo. I you have, can access uh, the photo again, library, events? right? <laughs> of the design. Faces? Like, you can't I mean, that's that. true. You could call it a spiritual oh, successor, and uh, right? Make yeah, it very I mean, similar. I like that all, none of these photos were shot on an iPhone. Like none. obviously, yeah, because yeah. yeah. back in the day, and this would not places. look good. This demo today. Yeah, the, the places tab. Like, look places at that. That's so great. So I can just now it's down like one hidden pins, away somewhere. Push on one of the pins and see all yeah. the photos I took there. So, so the, the people that was synced from iPhoto. Is that Paris. how they did this back in the day? All the photos I yeah. Took in Paris. Just tap on it to open them. <laughs> yeah, I think and this is before you could do it all. Like you had. I think when you got this iPad home, you had to plug it into your Mac. I don't think they were to the point where you could set it up on its own yet. Yeah, there's no iCloud photo library. There's Photo Stream, I think. Maybe pick one of the different transitions. I'm going to pick one called Origami. Oh, the, Just push start the slideshow. The slideshows. Those have improved a little bit over the years, I think. So Steve's using like a special cable no one could buy to output video, I think. <laughs> I know that was the case with the original iPhone keynote. Yeah. Because it took the iPhone many years to output video, I think. But even the well, iPhone. Apparently, that was like a last minute ask and the engineers had to like <laughs> come up with some crazy hack to because there's some chip in that cable it. to make it work yeah, i don't remember i'm fairly certain the entire iphone development team collapsed after that, that cool? <laughs> just from exhaustion well, of they didn't all have the last time second. well no but <laughs> so that's photos so he talked earlier about the home screen having iPod, different uh backgrounds is that new albums? with the ipad and I can just scroll you can do that before. Um, that was an iOS like. four. Four. I see so no, I, I, I yeah, this was iOS three point two, I think, right? And yeah, this ships with iPhone yeah. OS. Even this was like the the conduit for like CBL we need to change work. this name because right. I I, pretty, I don't know if they ever say it out loud, but it definitely ran iPhone. Like, yeah, three, iPhone OS three point two. Or, yeah, yeah. So this so is the first time you could change your background image. Music is another app I missed from the original design, like. It's yeah. It's now an Apple Music a focused app, which is. <laughs> is he going to show CoverFlow? I feel like this oh, demo can't not better. show CoverFlow. <laughs> that's just, that's like the Steve Jobs feature. Like if no one else at Apple wanted it, that was it was going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they had lyrics back then too. That's, Pod, that's podcasts nice. were inside the, the iPod app here. To enjoy your music on your iPad. Your In audio. I mean. It's actually interesting to see, like, there's a lot of, like, ins, like, menus that pop up over the interface, which I feel like is kind of a new and exciting thing that they added, like, in <laughs> right. iPad OS 14 this yeah. year. But, like, it was all here. Like, a lot of this is, like, popping over the screen instead of going full screen or, like, yeah. anything.
also just he he just sits here and Anna listens to music for like <laughs> right. way longer than music? you really need to. <laughs> Shows, podcasts, audiobooks. It's like this is just as good as it'll sound out of these speakers. Right here, <laughs> right in to the Cashew was big back uh, during this. Got a this great scenario, calendar. Here, look at that month view, and I can just uh, look at all that leather. Drag my finger right. over all the leather, events. Yeah. And get a little more detail on them. Does that still work? Do you just like drag your finger view, over events like that? Day view. I don't think it does. <laughs> I actually love this day view. This day view is pretty excellent. Yeah, this I I kind of like this the list. Very thing. nice calendar. It and looks very nice. I, oh, I agree. Great contact application. <laughs> great address book. Yeah, I do like miss this, if we want. this old design Scott, a little bit. I know it doesn't work uh, for many reasons. So great. Do you think that Scott Forsell number is uh, live? <laughs> now, <laughs> Scott. Also got a great maps uh, app as I was showing you, and. Uh, Again, here's oh, there's the that page tower. curl thing in the bottom right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's go to satellite view. And again, we can just. Oh, I can't wait till he gets the books with the secret uh, portal. We'd like. The back. There we go. The there's the Eiffel Secret tower. entrance thing. <laughs> so, great maps app. Uh, let's go to our current location here. Uh, so, let's. Uh, maps was such a cool thing to experience for the first time, like and, zooming uh, in and out and like I'm experiencing what uh, that is in a big touch screen. It really was like, like I said, and that that to me was the, the sort of eye opener. Of like, again, I can just uh, I cannot replicate how this feels on anything that I've ever used boat. before. Uh, yeah, so I want to go find that one after mm -hmm. this presentation. Like it, it, yeah, lunch, it was really something else. Uh, Google Street View right here. Yeah, it's like one of those things and, uh, where like, well, I could zoom with a scroll right wheel, here. like obviously, but like it's 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 just a different thing when you do it on a big screen with multi-touch and everything. Yeah, yeah, and like we had it on our phones, but like. Doing it on that giant screen, yep, it was just completely different. So that's maps. Yeah, because I mean, at that time, I, like, I still remember going places and printing maps out. Let's go to YouTube. Oh my God! Yeah, you know what I mean from map printing or whatever. From MapQuest. <laughs> yeah, I got lost one time because I didn't get the map. I like took a wrong turn, and my maps were not telling me which way to go anymore because the map was was paper. Screen here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Going to so I took roads yeah, that said south YouTube. and east. Isn't that incredible? And way. <laughs> How far YouTube right. has come. We still have to so that's YouTube, yeah. and again, here's uh, this video has like 200 views right now. I wonder what it has. <laughs> and again, that's a good boy. I built the video. It uh, just all works. Yeah, wit and well, and uh, of course. Videos. Wet and woolly is it? It's going to landscape for this. I think so. And we've got movies, TV shows, music videos. You know, so I can go into a TV show like Modern Family as an example, pick an episode, and watch it. That's a nice interface. Oh, so Modern that, Family. I remember there was an episode of Modern Family where like and, uh, one of the chapters. like the dad got an iPad, oh, like, and this was like the week before it came out. And like that was a major plot point on the show. Oh yeah! <laughs> I noticed uh, this is us. The current season, a magic keyboard with an iPad is in possession really? of Rand <laughs> Randall <laughs> uses it. If I want to. In one of the episodes, but he used a MacBook Pro. The next episode, so I'm not sure what his computing life is like. Really. The most amazing thing with this original iPad yeah, was I remember going on like a car trip and. With Wi-Fi off, like the battery of like locally played love, video could like get up. you 15 hours plus or something crazy. Like awesome it just movie. lasted forever and, uh, if you were just watching one video. One of my favorite sequences mm -hmm. ever. In any the animations movies, throughout uh, this are actually awesome. Right yeah, yeah. Like all these, like the windows like splitting in two and rotating away and stuff. Like they don't look gaudy. Like I kind of thought they might. All yeah. these years later, like they just they just look classy. Yeah. Oh, up. Tap to fill the screen I mean, also, light. how dare you? Don't don't make me cry during a key. <laughs> yeah, <up. laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, this is such a sad opening. Speaking of Pixar, I'm so excited for the Red Panda movie next year. Was wonderful. that in the uh, so that Disney video. thing? The yeah. massive dump of uh, yeah, I guess <laughs> the contents that we're all going to <laughs> yes, <laughs> we're basically living in Disney, Disney forever.
Yeah, it's not good to the iPad, but uh, that Disney and all those Disney announcements and then say saying, "Hey, we're going to raise the price one dollar." Yeah. Oh, okay. I, yeah. I'm I mean, glad. that's how you're going to. That's how you do it. <laughs> I'm locked <laughs> in for three years. I bought Just three years the like D23 pricing, pricing. so it's like three bucks a month. So, uh, price so. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so I'm locked in for for two really more years, thin. I think. It's a nice. Half an inch changes. Thin. And it weighs just one and a half pounds. One and a half pounds. That's the same as my 12.9, right? lighter than any netbook. Yeah, that's about and right. I mean, that's crazy. That's gorgeous. That we've only kind of gone that far. I, I know it's bigger and everything. Yeah. Display. It's not like, you don't like see those numbers display, and are like, oh, that's horrible. How right. could you use that thing? Half an inch. Especially because of how very thin they are now. Right. Like, I would have expected it to be a bigger difference. Capacitive multi-touch sensors in the world. Yeah, yeah, it, it is interesting. The 12.9 actually feels like terrific. nothing to me in Super in my hand, smart. like when I take it out of the keyboard. <laughs> but like the the original iPad feels denser, it feels chunkier, even though it's not wow. that different. They told you the gigahertz in the chip. That does custom silicon at Apple. One gigahertz. They actually A4, say it. Which is our most advanced oh. chip we've ever done. Those are the days. They, the they told you they, they, they were spoiled. Chip. They didn't even know. The memory controller. Everything in this uh, but this is uh, this is the debut of their, uh, first, their Apple Silicon, right? Yeah, this is the first Apple Silicon 16, chip. 32 or 64 A4. So they started with A4. Yeah, they didn't yeah. have an A1. <laughs> yep. Because the iPhone 4 was whatever chip. Yeah, the, the first iPhone to have it. Wi-Fi, uh. 802.11n, and the latest Bluetooth 2.1. And it was a big yeah, deal back then, I guess. And they the still didn't announce the amount of RAM, accelerometer, which I think was like half a gig. It was like a, it was a shockingly small number. That yeah. was like the limiter on this one. Right. iPod accessories. Oh, the 30-pin dock. And it's got battery. There was still no multitasking, though. No. There was not. No. You could play music. We've been able to achieve. <laughs> From, from, that, from that iTunes, bouncing animation. not other. We <laughs> 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 still have not gone higher or lower than that. Yep, that, that number looks totally normal. Yep. <laughs> and that battery icon is actually better than the one in Big Sur, so. It's pretty nice. Although, I must say, I rarely get 10 hours these days with what I'm doing on my It has over a month of standby life. So we could just yeah, mine like doesn't quite get that anymore either. It's two years old. Yeah, it doesn't quite charge. make it there. Well, I also you I use my screen brightness at like full max a lot of the time. The iPads are great citizen. <laughs> that that does it's arsenic uh, free, well. bromide flame retardant free. And you got a charger. Still had these checklists. PVC free, and its aluminum and glass enclosure is highly recyclable. And you got a charger. So that's a <laughs> yep. bit. You know what's wild is <laughs> like where we're at right now. Now, is let's go back to software. everything I remember We've about this keynote. Some great built-in yeah. applications. I feel like almost everything they showed, it's like I remember that to a degree. Hmm. Now let's talk and about I'm looking at the time, and we're like <laughs> 30 minutes in. I'm like, oh, things are going whole, to happen. There's a lot of stuff <laughs> coming up. Like, what else are they going to show? We got the accessories later on. We got Scott. Oh, I can't wait to see the accessories. <laughs> oh, yeah, that keyboard, right? Yeah. I don't remember anything else. The leather, the fake leather uh, case. A huge success. We launched it oh, Miss Scott. just about a year and a half ago. <laughs> and already yeah. our customers yeah. have he got, got I mean, he got a lot of flack for maps and Choosing iOS 6 and stuff. But like, yeah. More than 140,000 apps available Get Steve's the, the detail. Well, we built the iPad to run virtually every one of these oh, apps gosh. unmodified. They're going to get to right how you can run all the iPhone apps on your iPad. We can which do that is, in two ways. Yes. I mean, horrible. That's actually like Instagram today. <laughs> it's incredibly <laughs> timely, though. Like, Black this is literally what they did for the Mac. Mac. They have not yeah. improved this <laughs> at all. In 10 years, they have not made this any better. Double. Yeah, I mean, it's like I will instantly uninstall an app if it turns out this to be an really iPhone only cool. app. Let me go ahead yeah. and show you how it works. Like, I'd rather not use anything. Right. Yeah. So here I, have, I mean, I uh, got us. I did use it for probably racing games. Was the only category of racing store, games. Oh, Trism. I love Trism. So but that game jump. does not work well mm -hmm. in my we'll opinion. We'll start with Facebook. So you're like rotating looks, the device to use it. This is the oh, he looks so much you know less comfortable in that chair than works. Steve did. <laughs> right. Yeah, he's like folded in half. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And now, if Steve, you look in the bottom well, right, I've heard the like he he would spend like forever choosing the chair, you know, like right, obsessing over it. Uh, sure, probably him and I yeah. in a corner looking at catalogs of chairs screen. for hours. <laughs> and go back but to my it's for screen. him. <laughs> I can switch, say, to my profile, see my wall. 
it all just works. So Facebook. Now, it's Facebook actually refreshing to see a simple Facebook interface, right? Video. But what about an application that really drives Facebook graphics used to be hardware? More oh, it game? was amazing. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and launch a game here. This comes from Remember ESPN. when Facebook was integrated into the it's OS itself? X -Game yeah. Game yeah. No <laughs> uh, on the Mac and on game. iOS. That's right. Yeah. yeah. It plays a video. Uh, video works really well. It's pretty convenient. It was. You could get all your contacts right into Facebook. Yeah. And, yeah. Until it was totally counter to everything they started to believe in. <laughs> yup. <laughs> it's like Facebook's doing what with their data? Oh boy. <laughs> yup. See, if only the Mac had a touch screen, then it would be as right, least as good as the video here and get right to the game. No, <laughs> the Mac will never have a touch screen. <laughs> that, 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 well, the theory was they never made iPhone apps better on iPad because they wanted to encourage developers to make their own iPad apps. Same mm -hmm. theory holds well for iPhone apps. So here you can see this make, is an OpenGL ES you know, on the Mac, make so it really Mac drives well. the graphics hardware. And again, this is an Those aren't even 3D. Those are sprites. Right <laughs> is this a native oh, iPad or is this upscaled? This is upscaled. Okay. I mean, this is a look horrible, but and even the game for upscaling. Take full screen. Yeah, he's talking about the scaling. So you can see, thing. hey, some tricks. Uh, you can see that even a with an OpenGL ES game, game, very graphically intense. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. yeah. You get nice tremendous frames. Example. I have to say, having played uh, some games on yeah, here, I'm trying to think what games I played on the iPad in the early days. Fun. The yeah, flight control game? game? I remember that. Chromag Rally. So there you go. Right mm. out of the app store. <laughs> Angry oh, Birds, man. Of course. Oh, Angry, Angry Birds. Birds. Sure. Uh, Plants vs. Zombies. So the great oh, thing my is God. Hundreds of hours. We rule that HD. Love, that oh, Scrabble's on there. I miss Scrabble. <laughs> so you said you use your <laughs> iPhone as like a tile rack. Take it home, hook it up and then EA iTunes, changed it into a words of friends game and moved the tile rack thing. Right and your just iPad, made me and you're so good angry. to go. <laughs> now, it was like a ten dollar game that they some time modifying ruined. Their application, <laughs> they can take full <laughs> advantage of this yeah. large touchscreen display. And you can see that's what we did for all of our applications. We rewrote the user interface of every one of our apps to take full advantage of this large touchscreen display that comes with the iPad, like photos and photos music. Is great. Calendar, <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine if they YouTube. shipped this with like the they iPhone app of photos great. and you had to 2x it? Oh gosh! Like it would have, <laughs> it would have ruined the product, end, right? It would not have succeeded. The iPhone on, SDK oh, for sure. Oh, I miss the old SDK logo. For the oh, iPad I love that icon. It's so good. Releasing this SDK. Today. So developers. Okay, apple.com. Download it right there yep. on the homepage. <laughs> developers can go to apple.com today and download the SDK and get going. And this SDK even includes an iPad simulator. So you can run your oh, iPad simulator. apps yeah. right on your Mac. I actually ran, I was so jealous you of know, this that I ran like the Safari um, <laughs> demos where they showed it in like portrait and like yeah. you can see so far down the page. Like I tried that for a day to like see what it was like. It was horrendous. It was super slow and terrible. But like I was so jealous of like people who had an iPad. I was like, I'm just going to install the simulator. Yeah. To get your apps and I'm sure I did it through some customers. nefarious means because I certainly didn't have now, a developer account at that point. <laughs> this is like before it was <laughs> right. okay to like talk about betas and stuff and yeah. all that before it was released. You'll still be able to get to all of the iPhone apps, but if you create an application specifically for the iPad, we're going to put it front oh, and center. The first day of iPad apps, now, that was fun just downloading everything. It's really fun to go back in your like App Store account and look at like your first apps you ever bought on the iPad. and like, mm -hmm. see how many of those and still so, exist. Just about two weeks yeah. ago, we invited a few developers to Apple to give them a sneak peek at the iPad and see what they can One of these is like a magazine. A short weeks. I think. I'd like to invite a few on. of them on stage to show you Forget. what they've created. Starting and what was that? There was um, the daily. I remember that. Oh, that yeah. wasn't here, but like that was like their the like um, of games uh, for media the iPhone, or iPod oh, I forget who, but like they're they like we're gonna have a daily newspaper on, on the, the iPad, store, exclusive to the iPad. Yeah, I like the idea, but yeah, I like the idea. But yeah, what they've been it able to do in just a couple succeed. weeks on the iPad. Did not quite. I'd like to invite it, up. Ironically, Mark a podcast King. called The Daily has Mark. been incredibly successful. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. 
Today, my colleague Bogdan and I are here to show. I love how he's wearing jeans because you're at Apple, so you can wear jeans. That we've worked into yep. Our award-winning first-person shooter called Nova. He's wearing like so winter coat inside the other So what's different about Nova on the iPad versus Nova mm -hmm. on the iPhone or the iPod Touch? Oh, Nova. Well, Did you? Hands, I got one of those um, huge, like suction cup joysticks for my iPad. They the stick on there. Oh, have better virtual joysticks. Do, do example, those actually work? I've never had one. They worked, yeah. They've worked pretty well. Up and down the side of the um, or if I, I mean, it's better now with power, just hooking up a PS4 controller. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> but they worked well. The little so suction cup things you throw on them. I actually like this demo because it shows, map, like, they did, like, it's not, obviously not as good as, like, just a controller. But, like, you can, they're, like, interacting. They're using the touch screen and everything to, like... This tells do us things that they rearranged by. where their inventory well, is on the cool screen, added, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. You can so at least they were like trying to like innovate with experiment action. Yeah, like so. yeah, like the sliding. Oh, oh, oh that's a fail. <laughs> okay, yeah. Wait. Fast paced so action game. You messed the iPad too big. Nova and Nova Two are that's really, really good. You physically okay. apply three oh, no. fingers to the games. control disc and turn your hand in order to pa for the passage to open. It's a sh yeah, it's a shame they didn't now, have the controller support back then. We all know that first person that's how I want to play my combat. So we This actually reminds me of the Wii kind of MTA. like you're gonna waggle Full through all these things. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Unlock with the door with like push and twist and pull and all these things. And then fire on all of them simultaneously. Check it out. It's like we have Halo for iPad. Yeah. I mean, that's definitely what this is. <laughs> yeah. Definitely useful when this you're is trying to show we have number. a Halo killer. Yeah. Now this is what we were able to accomplish in just a few short days working with this exciting new hardware. The games look incredible at this higher resolution, and the form factor opens up countless new doors for us in terms of game design. You'll be able to see what else we have in store yeah, this for game, you on the iPad version on, uh, of Nova uh, ships <laughs> later this year. Thank you very much. This one was probably <laughs> left behind in 32 bit Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there are a lot of games left behind in that so transition. Yeah. Great stuff. Next up, the New York Times. The New York, uh, Times, New York Times has been publishing <laughs> a newspaper for more than 150 years. Yeah, I remember when we went through that whole newsstand era of apps where they'd all live in that little readership folder. Yeah. Nationally and internationally. So many runs out <laughs> getting the news <laughs> right. right. Uh, <laughs> so many different. Web news sites I think we're still the not there. <laughs> we're still not there. <laughs> but service so Apple will stick with us for as long as they I'd like to invite up will. Martin Nissenholtz. Martin. Yeah, I'm on the three-month free trial of uh, News Plus right now. I don't think I've used it so very Brooks, much, though, the interaction designer on this application. Yeah, and I'm on the Apple, Apple One plan now. So um, okay. So it's cheaper to, the website and so it's in the there, and like I just like that I don't click on articles and I can't read them imagery, anymore. Yeah. Since yeah. Even if you don't so subscribe, they throw you it all. They throw it all at you anyway. Because I would use Apple News. Well, uh, it's hands off, so it's kind of nice looking. But now, yeah, it's like I don't like that. I don't know what if I click on it, it's gonna yeah. But yeah. Creating something yeah, it's terrible. But once you're in, it's great. With the <laughs> yeah. Digital, well, and then there's that problem uh, that really where I never want to share a link from it, and, and so it's always annoying so to like, yeah. go find the I'm actual so article to share with somebody. Mm -hmm. Yep. We think that we've like, I feel rude sharing an Apple News link with you. Right. Like, yeah. Let me give you. Let me find the website. <laughs> is there a shortcut to like share an Apple News link to shortcuts and then find the original source and share that? I think so. Is there a way to do that? Let's take a look. That seems I, like the sort of thing shortcuts is built for. But also the type of thing you shouldn't need a shortcut for. Right. Yeah. Totally. They used to just let you just open in Safari, but like I feel like they either took that away or made it harder to find. But as you're kind of about annoying. to see, it's so much more. Although this is actually, I this New York Times app they're showing off right now is actually really nice iPhone, in terms so of just like, I'm giving you articles or to read. It's a little like skeuomorphic and like, using the newspaper like layout and everything. Yeah. But the there's no ads. There's no like you can tap to change cruft. It's columns, just like, yeah. here's a great reading experience. Yeah, because we saw the website earlier on in this presentation and it was full of ads and the flash and things. Let's jump to see the latest coverage in the Olympics. Yeah. And it's like rescales the text so you can make it bigger, which is nice. It's an incredibly mm -hmm. sport. Oh, the old video uh, play. Look at how shiny that little playhead is. It's so reflective. You're right? <laughs> so, yeah, it's really, That's great to see uh, Skiercross uh, making it into the Olympics in 2010. 
When you're done reading, oh, simply turn on updates. Also, that's like a 12 second video. That's like all they could put here. <laughs> right. It's everything you love about the paper, everything you love about the web, and everything you expect from the times. Yeah, this app looks great. I would actually download this today. So this yeah. yeah. That's what I keep thinking. I'm like, this is pretty intense. <laughs> I guess this was the era where you could uh, you could code to three weeks pixel perfect. Yeah, to, uh, you knew exactly what the screen size was, so you could journalism. do a lot Thanks of that so stuff much. a lot easier, I think. But yeah, mm -hmm. thank, you, thank you. Those were the days when screen size yeah. to a little more. I already find myself <laughs> reading the New York Times with my iPad in the morning through Safari. I can't wait to get this app. Next, you didn't. Brushes. We weren't on the beta. The <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Uh, iPhone painting. Oh, I loved brushes. brushes. This is one of the first ones I downloaded. All over I the world. Oh, I have I no memory of this. Amazing no. works of art, just using their fingertips. Or wait, I'm thinking Equally of sketches. Amazing. That's what I'm thinking of. The sketches. Brushes is a one-person shop. Hmm. To show you what he's been able to accomplish, and just are a they going to do a style? Like they're not going to do a stylus on stage. No, Steve definitely Sprang. not. No. Steve. Like not, not in the uh, iPad unveiling for sure. Yeah. <laughs> now listen, we've talked, we've talked down on styluses, but hear us out. Yeah. These pennings have yeah, there were on quite the web, these styluses galleries, back in the day. And even in print. Rubber tips. <laughs> New York City street yeah. scenes by George Colombo have been used on the cover of the New Yorker on three occasions. Today, I'd like to show you how brushes looks on the iPad. We'll start here in the gallery where I've included a handful of original iPhone paintings. You can swipe between these. So do the New Yorker use this app? Um, I think he said that they used it on the, use the iPhone version. Okay. The oh, the iPhone. Wow, that's First actually really impressive if you did it all know. with your finger. Elements available in iPhone OS 3.2, allowing you to access your controls. Like, I'm sure it's real, but also, like, it's suspiciously. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was this the first mention of iPhone OS 3.2? You can store your favorite colors. These can be rearranged, and you can double tap one to quickly select the first one I noticed. The yeah. Of course, all of your favorite brushes from, from the iPhone are this available like here Studio too. This looks like Studio Ghibli or something. You can adjust the size. <laughs> yeah. Right. The yeah. Spacing <laughs> and the opacity. <laughs> by pinching, you can zoom in up to 32 times, and by tapping and holding, you can activate the eyedropper tool. Which These apps have done so colors incredible. Pinning is as simple as dragging your finger across the screen. In this example, I'm removing the umbrella by painting over it with the background color. If you mess up, you Nailed can always it. undo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looks great. <laughs> painting, just tap the gallery button. Good use of undo. Gallery. Good use. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the iPad, buttons are going to support in-app playback of your paintings. Just tap the play button. To oh, that's playback stuff. Cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Like I'm really a, excited about the possibilities for brushes on this device. Yeah, yeah. This is actually them the showing their the receipts iPhone, too. And I think like we, we swear this is. Yeah, this is real. <laughs> we actually did. I'm not going to do this live, <laughs> but you can do this. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. They didn't even finish the Thank plug. You. It took too long. Yeah. Man, look at all those people Imagine in close proximity. I know. Those are the days. So jealous. Including art students in a ways only a pound and a half. No paints, no easel. It's going to be incredible. Next up, Electronic Arts. Electronic Arts oh boy, has been a major supporter of the iPhone yeah. Oh, yeah, everyone <laughs> ever since we launched the App Store. So this is before they had the Star Wars license. Already. <laughs> EA is the number one worldwide publisher of mobile games. To show you what they're doing for the iPad, I'd like to invite up Travis Boatman. I'm trying Travis. to remember what they put out. Thanks, we'll find out. <laughs> None of the other presenters are using well, the, the to come on site and work with them on the iPad. <laughs> have been it's also excited. weird that all the game developers the are the ones wearing suits. <laughs> right. Racing. Like How much choice do you think they get in what they wear? For speed. Oh, that's a good question. Like, now, do you, you think Apple here, dictates what you wear? Because it wouldn't surprise <laughs> me. That would not surprise me at all. Huge display. We're not going to let you come in and you what be you the cool next? kids. Yeah, go to our tailor. <laughs> dress up all fancy. <laughs> yeah, go to our tailor. Here's the who to see. Be who you set up? EA games from the App Store to this device. In no is he wearing time. blue jeans? I can't tell. Yeah, racing games were now, my jam. We've with made the games for consoles and we've made games for the iPhone. 
But building for the yeah, those like tilt controls and like yeah, this is one of the only things that did like great. <laughs> yeah, right. Just inches from your face, the field of view and the sensation of speed that you get is just incredible. It's not unlike if I turned around. There's a lot of things I miss uh, from the. Uh, Except the switch to the like pre canned so super highly produced videos that we get now, but use the accelerometer live game demos are not one real. of them. Oh, oh my no. god, yeah, it's all these touch enabled. I think they have a dress code, a lot of fun blue jeans different types and of a suit jacket. For example, if John wants to see inside the car, <laughs> see this no a lot here. he just taps right on the car. We had so much screen real estate, we started adding fun things like the shifter again, really intuitive. The user just swipes up and down with his finger to change gears. We also have so much screen real estate we added mirrors. Simply tap on the mirror to look behind you. Hmm. Yeah, makes sense, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Not? Oh! Well, oh. Be careful where you're looking if you're driving. <laughs> but other than just a large screen and it being completely touch sensitive, again, for us, performance is really important. And a game like Need for Speed really pushes the limits. So we want to show you exactly how fast this device in this game really goes. I mean, this stuff looks great. Yeah, I'm trying to think what uh, what the yeah, other mo sorry, like mobile yeah. platforms were at the time. 2010, you had the original DS, not the 3DS. So that's the yeah. speed running on the iPad. And the a lot original ESP. ESP? Yeah. yeah. So this looked pretty good compared to those, especially yeah. the DS. Well, I'm trying to think, was the 3DS the screen size? Last up, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> MLB.com oh, this was is a the great, official website. Great oh, app. Yeah. This is awesome. And the publisher this still is awesome. This is like yeah. an example of what now that app has been great. downloaded nearly two million times. They've always been times. at the top of uh, streamed the game for taking advantage videos. of new stuff, I feel like. Making it one of the yeah. most popular sports I think they did like custom icons before basically yeah. anyone else did. Weren't they the iPad. reason for it? They probably were, yeah. Like I've read that literally that that feature was created for Hello, the MLB app. Mm -hmm. Pesson, like they requested it. We were extremely excited. Do they have an Apple Watch app yet for just listening to just the broadcast? Uh, I don't know. I don't think the they do. No. Okay. Interactive display. So let's take a look this at is the curious. Yeah. So I don't think many people will be doing that. But. <laughs> with data from last April. <laughs> Across the top, I'm not really much of an app user on the watch. To to any of the day's games. I on use the field, them a fair bit because um, I'll shows you the leave my phone of every pitch um, like go on some and walks and stuff. Well, that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Audible on the watch is great. Um, so right. I, I've used broadcast to stream a relay show live on my watch, which is amazing that you can do that. We can actually show you video highlights while all this is going on. So you can that the game certainly fast. kills the battery pretty fast. Streaming live, uh, ir er, what is it, ice cast <laughs> on the watch. Well, I love that. Yeah, that's Across a good way bottom, to demolish that battery. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the field, the summary, the batter pitcher matchup, and scroll through the lineup. Yeah, and it looks like we've got a man on apps. first now, uh, so we can take a look at all the action with MLB.tv, yeah, where you can Mainly watch live apps, with your choice of home to, like, or away announcers. Responding. So the first thing you'll notice is that baseball looks absolutely amazing on this screen. And now we can enhance it with great live data from MLB.com, like the scoreboard, the field, the box score. And Are either of you baseball fans? Like, I've always admired their app, but I never really have a reason to use it much. That's exactly how I feel. Like every year, I, I, I like see some update that they have, and I, I'm like, oh, I'm going to be a baseball fan this year. And then I'd make it like till the second game, and I'm like, I'm, yeah, I just can't. Baseball, <laughs> baseball is definitely my sport. Yeah, but I'm from St. Louis, not from Chicago, so maybe it makes a little more sense. Yeah, Mark McGuire, is he still playing? He's retired. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, you've had more years of a team to, that has a chance than we have. <laughs> and I feel like I get well, well a childhood full of it. Uh, yeah. Now, we really and for a couple of years, we don't have uh, other sport as many other sports. For developers to yeah. Build for a couple of years now, I've gotten the, the MLB iPad. thing for free well, through T-Mobile. Tuesday. Mm -hmm. developers yeah. Get yeah. But I still, yeah. I just don't use it. Now, it's like, uh, while we wait for those apps to come out. Yep. I always get excited. I always redeem it. Yep. And then, yeah. Unmodified, right on our iPad. Oh Shazam! Is the app now built into the iPad. your control Steve. center? <laughs> That's great. Thank you, Scott. 
Oh, don't hate that mess. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> and these guys only had two, two and a half weeks to work on this stuff. So imagine what they're going to do in the next few months. People are going to go crazy. So we've seen some really great apps. Let me show <laughs> you another crazy. one of our apps uh, that we're very excited about. Is this books? Of course, books. that's a e yes. Oh, the original Kindle. Now, it's like a Blackberry. Amazon's done a great job <laughs> yeah. of pioneering yeah. uh, this functionality with their Kindle. And we're going to stand on oh, the Oh, he's setting this up. Yes, he is. He's first. praising, and then he's praising. about to... Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure many of you are going to stand on their shoulders. This is reading a book on the new iPad. Oh, it looks better, right? It's yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. And our new Surely app this will kill the Kindle iBooks. market. Now, iBooks <laughs> has a bookshelf. Looks like this. There it is. Have there it books. is. Yeah. If you want to mm -hmm. read one, we just saw what it looks like. It's terrific. You can go into portrait and see both pages if you'd like. Oh man, it had justified and content or yeah. justified text, which Having drove people crazy. <laughs> in the upper left corner of part. the bookshelf, which is the store. And we've created so the Flip new iBooks yeah. store. Yeah. Yeah. Fully integrated with the iBooks app to allow you to discover and purchase and download eBooks right onto your iPad. So you can discover books. We've got and course, these are charts lists, this is one of the lovely the New York books. Times bestseller lists. Peter Jackson. And we've got five of the largest publishers in the this world. This was uh, the that thing that Congress looked at. Yeah, I was about to say, about say and so sure. spawned uh, and decades worth of uh, lawsuits <laughs> and antitrust. It's like, you yeah. don't want Kindle to Starting be this afternoon. Please. So we're going to have a lot of books on the bookstore. We're very excited about this. I think it's going to be a great app. I think books is like a super underrated app. It is, yeah. Like I, I occasionally, I usually use Audible for audiobooks, but like every once in a while, I'll find one that's cheaper on Apple Books, and like it's just even today, it's it's just so much more enjoyable to use. Yeah. For yeah, I really like wish reading app. or for audiobooks. You mean? Um, for audiobooks, I guess. Yeah, I, I guess I haven't done an ebook in a while. I right now. I should button, look into that because like yeah, I use Audible and I love that secret pass. I get so frustrated at uh. The, here is the iBook store. I listen at like faster speeds, or mm -hmm. and like store, it gets really messed up when I run it through CarPlay. This. Like it'll mm -hmm. cut off and, uh, certain words, and so I have oh, to slow it back down. Here. Yeah. We can look at the New York Times bestseller. I don't know what yeah, they're doing. The the only bad thing about Apple Books is their here. chapter and, uh, markers are like always worse. Like you on Audible, it'll be like chapter one. Here's the full name of the chapter, and then on like Apple Books, it's track one, track two. I really oh, wish like, it makes it's no an sense actual at all. different recording. Like it, it's the same recording, but like the chapter markers aren't the same. That's so weird. Interesting. It's super weird. And the book downloads. Oh, that's so nice. Also, how would I know if a book's done if I don't get the extremely low bit rate? Uh, I we hope you enjoy this program. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> I love that iconic animation, though, bringing it to the story. Sorry, iconic. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the HBO uh, static, right? It is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> They'll never re-record that. And here it is. And this is what it's like to read a book. But I love that secret passageway line. Yeah, just tap back in the center and the back controls there. Go away, to get, get to the back, store. Send them away. <laughs> And I wish Apple page, did the subscription thing like Audible where you get credits every month. Because I would totally switch to that. Because that's what Audible is like. It's so much cheaper with the subscription. Yeah, yeah. I've I've done the math multiple times trying to convince dragging. myself to unsubscribe, and I just can't. Yeah, it's 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 a better deal. It <laughs> is. And now they have all the Audible catalog and, uh, books that you can just I get can go now. To the table of contents here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, I can, I've been going uh, through the James Bond there, books for the first time, and they've got celebrity recordings. And again, I'm listening to Moonraker with Bill Nye as the reader. It's just so well done. Oh, nice. Very, very easy. And this is what it's yeah, like. Yeah, that original books app was so can, nice. Uh, Design like yeah. the font size if we'd like, bigger or smaller. And I would, I would like font? have my finger like have Pick a different like font. hover between one and two pages where it's like you're flipping through the page, kind of fingering mm -hmm. a page or whatever. Whatever you want. Just felt. And that is. See, he just looks. He just melts into I that chair, see. doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, good. He was good at a lot of things, picking chairs. Here's for one of them. <laughs> so I His jeans are shorter again, than I would. A great you reader. Know, want myself. A great <laughs> online bookstore. The iBookstore. All 
in one no belt. really great app. We use the EPUB format. No belt. No. And so it is the most popular open book format uh, in the world. And we're very, very excited. Open book about format. This. Look we at that. The iPad nice is open be yeah. format. Yeah. Ebook reader. Not that is something I don't like about Kindle. Uh, <laughs> it's like the Moby. Uh, popular thing. books, but we are also very yeah. excited yeah. about textbooks uh, as well. But what's it matter? It's all now, year round, anyways. Something very exciting. <laughs> I work. I work. Oh, look at that box. Here we look go. at the box. <laughs> Over a year ago, That's a CD box right there. I forgot this would get like dedicated. Uh, oh, yeah. To take a look you got to be able to work on your iPad. Of to I be work a for the iPad. Professional user. And the initial <laughs> reaction was. Remember when uh, you used I to go to an Apple store and buy you know, like I work on disk for 79 numbers. bucks? Are really yep. heavy duty I think apps. That, yeah, I, I did that at some point. Uh, I, I definitely did it once. I felt s I was so Could excited. Yeah, me too. Out. It's like this is like, great. And the answer like turned out to I was there for like iMovie or something. Mm -hmm. Like I was just excited then, that video. Yeah. Could we come up with that was me uh, with however much Final apps. Cut Studio to cost. Oh, and um, you had like seven mm -hmm. discs mm -hmm. to uh, install it between. And what they came yeah. Up well, and yeah. it came in this <laughs> massive really box amazing. because it had big manuals so for each product. Tell us about I think yeah. on iPad, it's not like there right now, but Schiller, for the longest the time, it was it was sitting right on my bookshelf because it just looked pretty. It was cool. Yeah, I I helped run a computer lab in college, and that was. One of those fun Thank things you. of going to Good 20 morning, to computers and installing that thing. This is really exciting. <laughs> iWork so is a suite okay. of applications that millions and millions of our customers on the Mac truly when love. When did they start These bundling iWork into uh, the OS? Fun, and Both our OSs, yeah. Are I think it wasn't so long after this. It was when they merged it to one platform, right? Word processing documents they, uh, and maybe. spreadsheets, they all with this amazing software. removed features, As made Steve it told you, one the team has kind been of thing. Hard at work for mm -hmm. a year now. Yeah, it was like that weird See, phase where it wasn't free, but bring it to a lots of people had it for free. The iPad. It, it's weird. And I can tell you they've done some amazingly remarkable work. We have a completely new version of Keynote designed specifically for the iPad, where you can create professional presentations just with your fingers. <laughs> There's a complete new version of Pages. It is the most beautiful word processor you will ever see. Oh my God. Oh, the giraffe. The texture. I yeah. remember the giraffe. A complete new version of numbers. That draft is this trick that words still can't pull off though, so. And cool <laughs> to use. When's the last time someone's told you that? And really the only way to, to appreciate how amazing the software is, is for me to show you. So I'm really honored to be the first to show you the new iWork applications Ooh, how's Phil going to sit in the chair? I know. So <laughs> how, how much I'm looking so forward go. to seeing how they fit. All right. I'd say here. better than better, uh, better than Scott. Scott. Yeah. Let's launch Keynote. I love how Keynote the iPad is already set up on that screen. Because that's the way our slides like are. somehow slides are the iPad s it and when we launch moved over into there. Keynote, right? the first thing we do is we mm -hmm. see our slide library. This is a library of Have they actually been using the same iPad the whole time? In I think so. Oh, I can create a yeah, new right? By just I don't think Unless they them. snuck so someone out there. <laughs> I know on the original <laughs> iPhone event, there was a bunch of them because, like, right. yeah. if you used it too long, the <laughs> crash. <laughs> crash. Like each phone could do world. one thing or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> and, like, the, first thing the very last demo layout. was him running through, like, all of them. And it was, like, one out of ten times it would crash. And you know, every time that they demoed it, because users on the it just couldn't side. handle, like there was, you know, memory leaks or something that they hadn't fingers. ironed out yet. It's that easy. I want to go to a slide, I just tap on it. Slide and two. they had like fake apps. Now this slide shows you it has beautiful text, great templates. Yeah. Slide Can you imagine how stressful see? these things oh, must be, especially then, the right. for the engineers. The slide four shows a chart. It's like nothing to break. Beautiful charts and graphs. It's all live. Oh, man. Now here I am on slide five. It's an introduction slide. I think I want that. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Like live demos are always slide around the risky, even if you're doing them like internally mouse. for people. Really and like this is broadcast to the world. The <laughs> yeah. I drag it wherever I want and let go. And now I've rearranged my These original iWork apps well, were something one. special. What if I want to move a bunch of slides? Watch this. Like, I'm going to pick slide five. They're pretty powerful. Drag it over. And then I'm going to tap four, tap three. And they create a bundle oh, that, that I he's can doing like multi yeah. Yeah. Snap into place. So multi touch oh, gestures. That. Has the iPad even changed? Jeez. All of this is <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's less texture now. Incredible yes. Yes. <laughs> photos on this. Well, how do I get them in? I've got a media navigator. 
if I can get right into all my content, Needy like my navigator. photos and my my photo albums and nine hundred photos familiar. in the library. Right on. And how when quaint. I bring the photos yeah, onto right. a slide, how do I move them around? Of course, I use my finger. I just tap on a photo, and I can drag it around, place it wherever I want. I've got those convenient guides that I'm used to to help me align things. If I want to resize a photo, how do I do that? Easy. I grab one of these blue handles and I start resizing. Now let's say I'm resizing this photo and I want it to be exactly the same size as the one below it. While I'm resizing, be handy. I just tap the other one and it sees Does I want to match the one I Does just that still work? Does that still work? Huh. I want to rotate a photo. I use two huh. fingers. I want to mask a photo. Watch this. I just Someone have Keto tap. handy to try that. <laughs> Expand this image, move it around, tap done. I've just done a mask and that's an advanced technique that people do in presentations. It's so easy in Keynote. What else is easy? Animations. Keynote has beautiful animations. The same is true on the iPad. Let's say I want to bring this chart in with a build. Well, I go into animation mode. It's a button on the top right. And I see there's no build-in assigned yet, so I'm going to tap the build-in button. And I have access to all these great animations. Let's do a scale. And it will automatically preview that scale. I use the same technique if I want to create transitions on slides in animation. Do you guys do my presentation slide, about slideshows? <laughs> right. Like, I so want to make a slideshow at work tomorrow now. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask, do you guys do much uh, keto well. so building? Very quickly and easily, with just my finger, I'm doing very advanced. If literally anyone else in my life and work used it, then whenever yes. I'm yeah. Present, <laughs> I start wherever I want. We'll do you presentations in general, though? play button. And once I do that, we we're now do PowerPoints, he, sir. And I yeah, we, we do Google Slides, tapping, but right which is like the worst of that's all the worst worlds, of three. Yeah. But <laughs> so I tap to go to the next slide. Tap to bring so up that here's the most basic. Don't use uh, Prezi. Tap to do that cube transition. I don't even know what Prezi is. No, I was just picking the uh, magic move. the last Automatic random uh, presentation video. software I remember Very being popular. Feature. It was like <laughs> the iPad as well. It was making like those. It was like kinetic typography style, where like. Just you kept beautiful. zooming in Anytime to different portions of, it, of a giant oh, word yeah. wall. Okay. I think I only I remember it because that happened to be whatever was so popular when I was in college. And so, yeah, a bunch of people would use it. And it was always bad. <laughs> like, it was an interesting effect that was made for a poor slideshow. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Like There's Leo Laporte. Pages, I see with, a he's like, documents is he live streaming the here. presentation with a MacBook I also facing? Can get access to a lot you see of that? Templates to start he had like a screen oh, facing. Is this the one they get yeah, kicked out of presentations at? Right <laughs> this must have been one of the last ones he was at. Yeah, I, I think I saw like a, a screen tap, facing. Anywhere in the text, would be like pops my keyboard. I and down green facing. comes the ruler. It's the most beautiful <laughs> ruler you've ever seen uh, in an application. It gives you access to your uh, most, the most beautiful ruler. Hands. If I want to just focus on typing, I can turn it horizontal. Name a more beautiful I ruler. Get a bigger <laughs> keyboard, and it's all focused on the text. I don't know if I can. Now, scrolling up and down is something I can do easily with my finger, as you see. But if I want to even get through the document even quicker, I've got a new tool called the Page Navigator. I hold my finger page on the right. Ooh, look and at now that. I see look at that. Small version <laughs> this is of nice. Page. Look, that is page beautiful. That's a little gaudy, but now, oh, they're so proud really of this giraffe. <laughs> We're seeing automatic text wrap around a graph. It, it, is, a say, nice, it is a nice text giraffe. wrapping. Hold oh, if he moves the giraffe, I'm going to lose my mind. Start moving it around. And you yes. See <laughs> intelligent auto wrap happening. <laughs> I can tap on the text to type. Also, that's unreadable. Yeah, <laughs> for what it's worth. Bring <laughs> down the control panel where I can set a whole bunch of things. Formats, I can create outlines. I can even affect the layout of this text. With one tap, I'm going to make it a two-column format. It, it's Just not the biggest deal in the world, but it's interesting how much of this demo is showing things in sans or in serif fonts. Yeah. So <laughs> like, I'm, like it, do, it feels a little older just because it's... it's like serifs are back, I guess, but I don't know. I'm, I'm just used to these like minimal fonts and it's San Francisco with everything. The warm backgrounds. Yeah. Everything's not uh, just white. Yeah. I have great text. I have beautiful photos. Of course, I have tables of data. I have charts linked to tables. I even have. Also, kind of interesting to see like on these pretty small documents. All things said, um, like loading bars as it opens the document. Right. Like it almost looks like today, like you'd see that if you're downloading from the web. Yeah. Yeah. But like that's just a local doc. Right. <laughs> it's taken a couple seconds to load up. Right above a column, Andrew, 
I'm going to grab this handle and also select the Amy column. And let's move those columns oh, to the end of the table. This is the so one I've never finger, really jacked with that much. Oh, numbers across, is like the only one I use all the time. Oh, that's, reorganized <laughs> <laughs> that's really <laughs> nice being able to just drag those two been updated as well. It's that easy. Let's go to the next tab. Is it that easy still? Some more to, data to in a table highlight those two and drag them like that? Associated with it. Yeah, it's, it's pretty what good. Yeah. adding more rows of data and maybe doing a calculation on those columns to do a subtotal? That's really easy. I'm going to tap the table. I'm going to tap the button mm -hmm. on the bottom left to no, add a no row. Longer. And now I'm going to tap the first cell on the table. Something really amazing happens. I brought up the data I do entry like how they keyboard. show him interacting with the screen separately. Of a touch interface yeah. nice. and soft keyboards. The default keyboard is exactly what you need for numeric data entry to quickly get at and enter data in your cells. Yeah. Virtual or keyboards. Or time and date keyboard to do Those formulas using nice. times and date. Yeah, these are great keyboards. Yeah. Text. <laughs> And I've got access to all my formulas and functions. There's over 250 formulas and functions built into numbers. That green bar looks very old at this even point. Get yeah, it's, yeah. It's a very weird choice. Like I'm, I'm just staring at it, <laughs> trying to figure it out. Like why did they do that? The other part of the keyword looks kind of right good still. That's Oof. Oof. That's yeah, and that green check. And yeah, that looks yeah. Cool. yeah. That looks like the software you tell your mom not to click on new buttons on Windows 95. Right. Yeah, Windows XP or whatever. Yeah. because it's right. What if I want to move and fill that across We're all We're scanning of them. your computer. I copy and paste, but this is a faster way. I just tap that cell. I tap fill. And now I drag the yellow You still don't have to a where I want to fill across, and it's done that. numeric it's keyboard for iPad, right? It's just in numbers. Huh. Is that, that's accurate, right? Yeah, there is no numeric when I... I th yeah, I think it pulls up the same I've keyword no matter what on the iPad. Yeah, it's really frustrating. Yeah. Or change the way it looks. Make it black and white or give it really vibrant colors. Now, what if I think Chris has done a great job and I want to highlight the we his wedge of that pie? I'm going to drag it out of the, of the pie chart. I just hold my finger on it. Getting work on the iPad from day one here. Yeah, things yep. that are mm -hmm. hard to do on a, on a spreadsheet with a keyboard and mouse are really easy to do with this touch interface. Numbers are so powerful, you can create spreadsheets like this one that has formulas, checkboxes, ratings. Ten bucks a piece. You can even take a table just like this yep. one. And one Powerful spreadsheets like this with entire dozen form. rows. Yeah. <laughs> that's a nice form. That's a good looking form. This is a, this is actually like air what like Airtable and Notion do. Yeah. Like different views for the for a table of data. Can you still do this this form thing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, all that uh, marker felt font. Yeah. This is beautiful. On the iPad. So that's a quick look. I like those icons. Sold icons. They do have a bit of a Mac OS icon stuck in a... Yeah, that's exactly what they are, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tremendous potential and power of the this is like four years before, uh, before iOS 7 when they started doing that for a ton of things. Fun, yeah. Easy, and oh, that's really giraffe. Professional. <laughs> Applications like this are amazing. Each. So what are we going to charge for them? I'm really excited. Ten bucks? Steel? Just nine ninety nine each for these Cause applications. Because it's uh, eighty That's bucks in the Mac for all three, is that right? Something like these that. These are yeah. three completely new applications. They have amazing new user interfaces. They're compatible with iWork on the Mac, so you can import and export between the iPad mm. and your Mac. Yeah, very handy. Import and export. So you had the export yeah, to two different files. Yep. Transfer it over a physical cable. A yep. Open it up. <laughs> Projectors, nice. And they're gonna be available yeah, VGA right adapter the there. Store, right on the iPad. So everyone who gets an iPad can quickly and easily purchase and download these three applications. So that's Keynote, Pages, and Numbers, and that's iWork. Those are pretty good iPad. demos. Pretty good, Thank yeah. You. Now, um, <laughs> iMovie is until the iPad 2, right? The whole iLife yeah. suite, that's Thank the you, next Phil. year. I think so. Isn't it great? I'm very happy. Pretty good. It's, it's great, so, Steve. <laughs> a few other things. I'd like to talk for a minute about iTunes. Oh, the iPad yes. The, it's an iPod. It's over USB with iTunes running on your oh, Mac how or your PC. Exactly sure, sure, sure. like an iPhone or an iPod Touch. <laughs> and okay. so when you sync, Reasonable. you sync everything. You can sync your photos, okay. your music your movies, your TV shows, 
your contacts, your calendars, your bookmarks, and of course all those applications that you might have it's already amazing. bought for your iPhone this. or your iPod Touch. Yeah. Backups are <laughs> contacts. Back. If you ever you lose your iPad and you get another one, you can restore Man. it right from the backup, right where you left off. Seriously, like today I take a picture so on my iPhone, and then sinking, if it's not on my iPad two seconds later, I'm upset. Yes, <laughs> right. You're airdropping it. This is a real benefit. Right? Like, yeah. I can't wait for this. I'm going to airdrop like it. I'd like to talk about wireless networking. <laughs> Every iPad has Wi-Fi in it, the latest and greatest Wi-Fi. Okay. Wi yeah, good. AO2 but love we're it also said. going to have models of iPads. Oh, this is big. 3G. 3G. Cellular yeah, wireless yeah, yeah. data built in AT as well as Wi-Fi. Oh, he's going to be on stage, right? The AT&T guy. What is it? Yeah, he's going to come up and talk for, for 18 plans. hours on why uh, well, <laughs> 4G is the future. Oh god. Yeah. We charge about sixty dollars uh, a month. Sixty bucks a month. For a Jeez, that's for like laptop. it is today, right? Forty, fifty, sixty bucks. We've got a real breakthrough here. My fives. Remember getting my awesome fives back in the day. For iPad owners. The first one. Oh man, the uh, yeah. 50 gigs of was this free data or no? no this, this was, was 10, 15 bucks. I think it was fifteen. Most bucks. people will get by on that. Oh man, uh, there ten or fifteen. Two hundred fifty megabytes of data per month. Most people will get by on two hundred fifty <laughs> megs of data. Yeah, fifteen. <laughs> the unlimited thing was crazy though, because they never throttled this thirty buck unlimited thing. You could use oh it my for God, the longest yeah. time. And if you feel you need more, we and have an unlimited Yeah, plan they throttled the iPhones, but the iPad they never really now. throttled if you stayed with this thing. I use the crap so out of So these are plan. real <laughs> breakthrough prices. Netflix. All of them. We've got a oh, breakthrough yeah. deal yeah. with AT&T. It's providing this service. Yeah, that, that lasted for, for what, two months, and then they canceled the unlimited, I think. Unlimited <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how it was, but like really? June, wow. it was gone or something. Free use of their wi it was like original iPad owners only. They have more wi -Fi <laughs> Forget it, it was pretty quick. I'm not really sure if it was well. like literally two months, now, but I think it was pretty... Yeah. How do you <laughs> I think this, this was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to go to a store, you don't have to call anybody, you can activate this part's so Yeah, this is great. But yeah, I tried the set up Verizon and on my iPad and it no is contract. such a mess. Prepay. Mm. They so don't do no this built-in thing. You, can you have to like go through their app. Like currently? Yeah, currently. It's a mess. Oh, really? I tried to do it because so I was going to place it or didn't have AT&T or iPad, t mobile and Activate it right on the iPad. Yeah, this yeah, is annoying. This on device and settings is it's so great. You can cancel it whenever you want. We think it's a phenomenal offering. Now, So we've got a breakthrough deal in the U.S. What about international? Well, Love that word. we hope to have our international deals in place in July, <laughs> yeah, June, here we July go. Um, frame. We think we can probably June second, two thousand ten. AT and T so replaces iPad limit day plan with two gigabyte capped plan However, for new customers. Yep, twenty five bucks a month. Of the iPad three G in June when this came out at the end of and April. They use the new GSM wow. micro -SIMs. So you had like a couple so months to get that. <laughs> some of the carriers offer micro SIMs. Uh. So very high likelihood they'll just work. And we'll be back this summer with some even better deals for our customers internationally. Yeah. Unlocked iPad. Yeah. The, the whole data. So Wi-Fi plus 3G so if you want it. We're very excited about this. And... Uh, this is, you didn't have tethering back so, th in these days either. IPad. No. You did a, on uh, Android. Android. At right. least you did on <laughs> the version custom ROMs I was using. I don't remember I if mean, that was yeah, like officially supported that's, or not. That's true. I jailbroke my iPhone back it's then. I had my Y, so that one did it. The best device I've ever seen for But I, re I remember owning the little my, the my Fi things that you just pop the SIM card Great in to share for data. Enjoying your music collection. Mm, yeah. Those were big back in the day. And video is phenomenal on it. Did you find that dog video yet? <laughs> no, I couldn't find it. <laughs> on the app store. This was this was his like as last well as public appearance, right? I like all. The iCloud keynote. Um, for the iPad. Was his Which last was I think one. that summer. Uh, no, okay. it was 2011, oh, no. the next year. The, the year of the okay. 4S. With the iBook store. Yeah, you're the four. Carry literally thousands um, of books around on your iPad. So it was the WDC and keynote of 2011. The iWork suite of apps for doing productivity applications. 
with the best user interface we've ever seen for something like this. An yeah. Amazing it's kind of product. crazy. Tremendous breadth. But yeah. Just a year and a half. What later. should we price it at? A thousand dollars, right? Here we go. Thousand Everyone's bucks. Saying a thousand. If you listen <laughs> to the pundits, we're going to price it at under a thousand dollars, which is code for nine ninety nine. <laughs> oh, I love this. When I think this was the most surprising thing of the iPad, yeah, it was of the yeah, whole the, keynote. Only the phones, everything else was kind of like okay, yeah, it's a blown up iPhone. The phones were yeah. what five ninety nine, and user interface goals. Yeah, so I, or I think they were four ninety nine at that ninety nine at that point. Yeah, maybe it's low end. Yeah, school. so it was like which ones? Because we want the iPhones to put this in the three GS. Yeah, lots of people. That was on contract too. And I think so. Yeah. Which is just like Again, we crazy. It's <laughs> like this bigger device we have is met cheaper. Our cost mm -hmm. goals. I mean, this is less than AirPods Max. And I am <laughs> right. <to> yeah. <laughs> that's that's that the with price the perspective there. Not, not to put things in context or anything. Yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> Gotta love that, that sound the effect of an XDR stand. <laughs> Yeah, there's Leo with his uh, laptop facing the audience. Or Steve. <laughs> uh. At $499, a lot of people can afford an iPad. Yeah, I was blown so, with that price. $499? Like, yeah. Serious? For 16 gigabytes. And kept out of, how did, yeah, how did That's that work? Base model, 16 gigabytes <laughs> with Wi Fi built in. For what do you mean? Gigabytes, just the I'm more. just trying to think. How did they get the price that, you get that much cheaper than the iPhone? It's pretty remarkable. I mean, miniaturization in many fields cost costs money, right? I, I guess that's true. In the like for production itself. And so yeah. Six twenty nine, seven twenty nine, and eight. Was this their first? This was their first uh, the A series chip too, right? So yep. Yep. Some savings there, I guess. With sixty four gigabytes and three G. Eight twenty nine, most expensive iPad. We think it's an unbelievable. Well, iPads have gotten a lot more expensive. Price off. And cheaper, too. Though. Yeah. And cheaper. And though. cheaper, yeah. So four. Yeah. I mean, moved all over the line. <laughs> yeah. When can you get your hands on one of these? Especially if you include the, the real price of an iPad Pro, days. which is with World all the accessories. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're close to 2000 It'll take us probably another 30 days beyond that. <laughs> yeah. To get the depending on where you get taxes. The pay taxes. approval process with the carriers. And so within about 90 days, we'll so I went to cover models. the launch of the iPad for my podcast, so and I had pre-ordered we'll the 3G model, and they hadn't sold that by the end of the day, so I um, ended up getting one uh, that night <laughs> <laughs> as like an <laughs> unplanned purchase. <laughs> We've got some really great accessories as well. Oh, the accessories! All right, hit First here we go. Simple. We have <laughs> Other dock. You know the Why slide show I showed you? Well, when you're in the lock screen, there's a little button mm, that you just push, yes. and it puts you in the slideshow, and you have a great show. picture frame to look at your great. Uh, pretty good. To look at your. Uh, there are a lot of picture frame uh, while the iPad is charging you on your desk. It's very nice. Yeah, for sure. We have another dock for the iPad that's interesting. Oh, the, the keyboard, keyboard dock. dock. Yes. <laughs> so Love this wait thing. a second. This is a sep The keyboard was part of the dock. I, I, yes. It's part of the. Oh, slide. I don't. Right I don't, right don't remember this, this at all. This is a whole. This is a one piece unit and a keyboard dock. Pin connector out the back for charging. Jeez. I use this thing a lot really with an iPod Touch on my lap, just taking this notes. Huh. Because it just it works the same thing with 30 pin. When you've got a right so I pop an iPod Touch on that little thing. Huh. <laughs> Best <laughs> little virtual <laughs> keyboard thing ever. Third accessory. I guess it would be kind of nice for. Protects your iPad. Just taking notes. For, like taking notes in yeah. class. And stuff. Yeah. yeah, it was great. This <laughs> might be the worst thing ever. The worst thing. <laughs> got grimy I, I did have this. Did. It was it was so floppy. Stretched it was, out. So three accessories. It like just iPad. felt now, weird. We yeah. Video, which we're going to put up on the web. Yeah. Since we've got How much was that case? Really Twenty-nine bucks. Projection system here. I thought you might like to see it on the big screen. I don't even know. I'm so like. It's such jaded case. by their current prices for accessories. Like, I feel yeah, like it's, it's got to be like, oh, that's like $200, right? Your ability to understand. <laughs> but I think you're right, it was like 30 bucks. Not crazy. It sort of becomes yeah. magical. Oh, and, and that's oh, exactly John, what room, the iPad is. I miss John. Slide to a mop. It's hard to see how something 
that's so simple, so thin and so light could possibly be so capable. These days you'd have speaker girls on both sides, even was if a one side had... And we learned so much <laughs> from it and developed so many amazing technologies, all the applications, the multi-touch user interface. It was truly an incredible breakthrough product. We right wanted through, to take right off right that through. and yeah. apply that Flat to sides, a whole new class of product. Like, the iPad is the best. This is yeah, not the best music experience. choice ever the for best an ad. Email experience. The best no, I don't even. I don't recognize the song. Experience. It's yeah. very like a uh, corporate it's change. Retreat. The way we do the things we do <laughs> every day. You think you're going to love the product? It is pretty much defined by a single piece of multi-touch right? glass, and that's it. There's no pointing device. There isn't even a single orientation. You know, there's no up. There's no down. <laughs> there's yeah. no right or wrong way it of is. holding it. What brand? I, don't I love how excited to change he is. myself. Yeah. It's like they let me made a product, product with no buttons, me. no anything. Just, <laughs> it's a screen. We looked at they the device. Do it. And we decided, let's redesign it all. Let's redesign, reimagine, and rebuild every single Scott. app from the ground up, specifically for the iPad. This is a better music and choice. Yeah. With this large a display, you get apps that aren't just a little bit better than their smaller counterparts. You get apps that are an order of magnitude the more powerful. Jack, you needed, like, certain headphones the iPad is them. the best yeah, way yeah. to browse the web. For the same that reasons, the it just feels right. That was just the iPhone. Yeah, a book the iPhone. or yeah. a magazine or a newspaper in your hands yeah, as you read them. Yeah. It just feels right <laughs> I remember to hold the that, internet yeah. in your hands as you surf it. And it was their with first time this, this the large, Jack. <laughs> you can yeah, just see more of the web as you're surfing it. Did the Verge exist? Take the New York Times. No, you can see uh, all the top like stories. No, and Gadget, They're all just right there. Yeah, I don't guess they left yet. Yeah. You just reach out and tap it. It's completely natural. You don't it's even think about it. amazing they show flash you just on do. these, these pages. The iPad is a world-class email client. It might be impossible client. to find it's a <laughs> website. It's <laughs> very productive. Yeah. Yeah. You can go through huge quantities of email really quickly. And it's fun because... You're doing it all with your yeah. hands. I think they still kind of when do When you that. want to compose a yeah. new message, some the keyboard automatically slides up from the bottom. And this keyboard is practically These are like the, the early like, iPhone ads as where they were just like, literally showing you how a touchscreen works. If you want to focus right. on a single message, but like, just rotate the portrait. And everything else gets out of the way so you can concentrate yeah, on the content you care about. iPad is absolutely so the best way to view and website. share your photos. I mean, like, it's really long. You see, yeah, every one of the yeah, albums yeah. there is just a stack of photos, and you can just pinch open to peek yeah, in a stack, so or good. just pinch so it open good. and look at all your photos. If you want to share with a friend, you can just flip over the iPad, and the iPad oh. automatically <laughs> flips the photo <laughs> to the correct flip orientation. Over the iPad. That's great. This is an unbelievable device for watching video. The user interface we built for this is just it is fun. Great when you see something, yeah. you touch it's it with your great. finger it's and it starts great, yeah. playing. Even better, There's the no delay. The, speakers. the quality of this video is amazing. You can double tap, fill the whole screen. Don't do that. Don't, Don't do that. that. We also Don't built do an incredible that. mapped application on here. It's really fast. And we created a calendar application like nothing we've ever seen on a computer that before. Frame. Another right? app we're in like really a, a white about. void the entire iBooks. time, except one person drinking <laughs> coffee. When you couple books right. with a high-res color display, <laughs> reading an e-book is just such a pleasure. <laughs> not only kind of creepy when you think about it that way. There's like <laughs> you can see the couch, but it is there in this white void. To reveal <laughs> right, it's like a uh, the matrix behind it. So with brave, to drink a, finger, a glass of you can black coffee, <laughs> download a book, and immediately start it reading it. Oh, no, so now we have three there. phenomenal stores okay, okay. on yeah. the iPad. The iTunes Store, the App Store, and now the iBooks Store. Interesting they mentioned we the iTunes the iPad first. to run right. virtually like every the primary one store. of the more than 140,000 apps yeah, available on the App Store, the app as well as the ones there, but... you've already downloaded onto your iPhone. App Store. So the apps you use every day iTunes store and all the of, games definitely. you love playing will run on your iPad yeah, know, right like... out of the box. Plus, hmm. Back with the release software, of the iPad SDK, developers will be building apps specifically <laughs> but for the iPad. So, so there's going to be a whole new gold rush iPods were for app developers. And buying movies, that was more of a thing than Netflix? The streaming? iPad is mm -hmm. the most advanced piece of technology that Buy I've TV ever worked on at Apple. Too. 
Oh, the Bob. innovation in the product really starts with multi-touch itself. Hard. This multi-touch is the yeah. largest that we've ever built in a product. And it's on multi-touch of this size that you really feel the power and performance <laughs> like of the multi-touch almost. <laughs> By putting well over a thousand sensors in this multi-touch design, the level of multi-touch accuracy that the, the customer design. will experience is unprecedented. I hope a few when you more. take the product <laughs> out of the box and hit the power button, the display immediately comes to life. And I think our customer's experience with that would know, be, wow, be. this is a it really vibrant big. display. The, Apple Pencil the backlighting system is LED, <laughs> and LED is what gives you the crispness yeah, I guess and color quality in the display say, it's not like your fingers Beyond that, we use IPS technology. Precise, but... IPS right. is premium <laughs> display technology that gives you a not only a great video, experience like, looking directly that. at the yeah. device, <laughs> but also off-angle when you're sharing the device with someone else. The reason why this product this responds off -angle. Oh, so the dog well again. and Man, you really feel the video. performance <laughs> right. is because of the it custom might be a silicon fake video made that just we for designed this, for this product. You think? That silicon is called I A4, mean, I doubt it, but... And it's yeah. really built by our hardware team video in concert with our software team. And what that gives you is a level of performance that you can't achieve any other way. It also gives you the efficiency to achieve a battery that lasts all day long. Apple's the one place I wanted to make that, that you can really do this. We build battery <laughs> technology, we build chip technology, we build software, and we bring all those things together a watch. in a way that no one else can do. Execs yeah. want to watch up until now. No Apple watches. <laughs> one of the most important <laughs> features we designed in the iPad was an affordable this price. This more like a normal. Uh, Usually, when you get the Apple brand Apple. new latest technology, it starts yeah. at a high price, and over time. Gets more affordable. This is actually a down. really long product video. Even <laughs> really like, we wanted to do it different. Is that iPad Fly? We wanted to take all this advanced it technology of hardware and software, do everything we could to get it into the hands of as many people as possible, right from the start. The iPad starts at just four ninety nine. That's really exciting. That price point is just crazy. The iPad, on one hand, is clearly way bigger than just a new product. This is a new category, but yet millions and millions of people are going to be so Matt, instantly familiar with it. They're going to know how to use it. It was actually this one. I, I, did, I didn't get it for like a year this, later. This okay. But I, I did get the original one. Yeah. Of what's next. Yeah, one, I loved it. I, I have both my original iPads. One doesn't boot anymore. The other one does. Yeah. Mm. It's kind of sad. It's so, just dead. Let's go back to the beginning. <laughs> we have what it takes to establish a third category of products. He's an so awesome good. Product yeah, in framing. A laptop yeah, and a smart new products. Well, the bar Mac is pretty really high. doesn't look that much different these days. It's got to be far but, better but, but, but at doing design. some key things. <laughs> right? Like yeah. these. It's definitely thinner. Uh, a little thinner. A little thinner. smaller bezel. Like that profile does look different, needs. but. Yeah. But it's, think I'm actually something. literally using that wallpaper yeah, on my iPad so today. <laughs> the leopard. <laughs> Another yeah. thing we're so excited about is that because we've shipped over 75 million, 75 iPhones million. And iPod touches, there's over wow. 75 so million little. people that already know 75 million. How to use they probably do that in like a holiday quarter. So we can't oh, wait yeah. for them to get their hands on it. More I think that. that point right there that he's making is the thing that I you know, I completely underappreciated you know, when I was store, watching this the first time. That everyone knows how to use app this store, thing. Yeah, like you know, I was so yeah. disappointed in so many things. Like, ah, uh, they didn't solve the keyboard problem. Like, I don't know if you stores, remember, but that was always the conversation. Yeah. yeah. When these blow up, how are they going to do it? Are they, you know, there was like really cards, janky Android tablets and people experimenting. It's like, do you split the keyboard in half? Stores. Do you do, you know, Honeycomb was uh, yeah. the Android yeah. OS. And it had all these Users ideas. And I was like, and the iPad is just doing nothing with any of this. And it was like... I guess similar to things happening now, but so I, I appreciate more the slow evolution where you carry your users iPad. with you versus yeah. like throwing everything out and trying to rethink and it all. IPad, right. yep. I think that was if you were to sum it up, the, the right balance of new with old is, our most advanced uh, technology is what made this click with so many people. In a magical yeah. and revolutionary device. He loved calling this thing magical. At an unbelievable price. Yeah. Because it, it most advanced felt technology magical. It really did. magical and revolutionary device at an unbelievable price. And we think this is going to be a really great it, combination. I mean, really, it came out like... Now, 
The reason but three years after the original iPhone, that's kind of that crazy. Apple's to think able how to create products like thing. the iPad. Is yeah, they, yeah, I mean they were on a roll tried during that period to be at the intersection of technology Bank and roll. liberal arts. <laughs> <laughs> this was the same year the original Apple TV launched. To be able that, to right? get the best of both, I forget to make extremely advanced. The, uh, the one that was like basically just a Mac. Yeah, the Mac Mini. <laughs> But also they got really hot. Intuitive, easy to use, fun to use, so that they really fit the users. The users don't have to come to them. They come to the user. And it's the combination of these two things that I think has let us make the kind of creative products like the iPad. A little bit, little paint so splash thing. Yeah. We've mm -hmm. got a hands-on area next door. We like you to it's go weird how there's specific things I remember because when you in that, feel that artwork, probably because I was reading a bajillion <laughs> blog articles <laughs> theorizing about what we're going like to see, and they all yeah. showed that, you know. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much for coming this morning, and we hope you love the iPad as much as we do. Thank you very much. It's amazing that the presentation was pretty much all iPad. There wasn't like, there was a little bit of update at the beginning, but not much. Yeah. Just a yeah. minor like retail and pat on the back financial, but then yeah, yeah, no other products, no anything, just yeah, just set it up. Here's what we're gonna prove. He demoed it for an hour and then said, "Hey, do we do it?" <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine a single product getting an hour and a half? Right, no presentation. It's nuts to think that. I mean, the only example I can think of is if the the Apple glasses AR whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If that is truly they're putting the resources into it like they put into these, you know, there could be an hour and a half half's worth of content with new apps and new everything to show mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Apple Watch didn't get an hour and a half. <laughs> I can't imagine. I mean, I don't really remember particularly. But I think it probably got 40 minutes maybe. Because it was, it was part of a larger presentation, I thought, right? That's what I thought. Yeah. It was some fall event. But it wasn't all Apple Watch. Yeah, it was with the was it the same presentation as the Apple Pay and the iPhone um, 6s or right right. Uh, I honestly can't remember what else was with it. I remember watching it, <laughs> but that was definitely what everybody was looking forward to going into it, and what everybody was yep. talking about coming out of it. And there was, it, you like, know what? It was Apple Pay. I'm pretty sure it was Apple Pay. Yeah, and there were multiple presentations on Apple Watch. iPad just had this one to before launch. Huh? Yeah, that was fun. I, I enjoyed doing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I uh, yeah, that was great. <laughs> it's it's wild how much of this, not just the iPad, but of the presentation itself that I remember somehow. <laughs> right <laughs> yeah i'm seeing uh on youtube apple special event 2014 apple watch introduction 45 minutes is what youtube is showing me for just the apple watch thing yeah, yeah. and then i mean the other big product that they've had is the airpods but obviously that wouldn't have remotely the uh stage time because no. there's not a whole lot the thing that makes it magical is that there's not much to it it's all just yep. <laughs> right. intuitive and natural yep uh yeah in some cases, no no presentation with the Max. You just like here it is. Go buy it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is wild. The Max didn't wasn't a part of the other any of the other events this year, but the HomePod Mini having the Max in there as well. <laughs> it's like a. It's not ready yet. Yeah, I hope we get back to. Uh, to live keynotes i i really like i mean wwdc i loved the uh the sessions all being pre-recorded but yeah and obviously the the presentations were really well produced and i expect maybe some sort of hybrid of the two but it would be really sad if we didn't get uh any of the live stuff anymore yeah i agreed yeah it'd be interesting to see inside apple if they these are working for them or not they're investing in them like no mm -hmm. one else is. Yeah. So I, 
kind of think they pr- they probably are, but I think I don't some... know. There, there is something nice about having someone on stage and like kind of feeding off the crowd energy a little bit. Yeah, I think some well, things it they feel want more to do it though. personable. Yeah, like you don't really get to know any of the characters. I mean, it sounds weird using those phrases <laughs> for just employees of the company, but yeah. you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> like we know Craig because we've seen him talking to us just sort of naturally or something hangs up and he, he spits out a one liner, you know, that kind of stuff doesn't happen in a pre canned video. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. I imagine they'll have some virtual events, but they'll want to do in person ones too. Depending on what it is. That's true. They could do both. Yeah. Like for smaller things, like in the future AirPods max could have a virtual event. (laughs) Stuff like that. That they don't really need a big in person thing. Yeah, I have to imagine the glasses will be in person whenever that happens. Well, it'll be whatever they think is the most effective. Yeah. Or they could do I wonder if they do virtual with press called down as well in some way. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like we're gonna <laughs> I'll watch this virtual event and um, one-on-one with us. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what they did similar. Like I think with the Apple watch uh, this year, like there were these stories of like YouTubers and stuff. Like there was the event they watched kind of with the rest of us. They had some sort of communication with Apple. And then like the next day it showed up for, via UPS, like <laughs> in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> like here's your unit to test. Um yeah, they are like guessing on their wrist sizes for the straps this time and everything. <laughs> but I, yeah, the hands-on areas at these things were really great. Like Steve mentioned it at the end of the keynote, like we've got this hands-on area, you can try them out. And like there, there's there's something really, really cool about that. Well, and they, they can do that with a pre can video still, right? Yeah. Like Sure. Because mm-hmm. they do that with non-events all the time. Like the, I, the AirPod Pros, didn't they fly a bunch of people... Uh, and that was just a press release, but right. they still had a, mm-hmm. you know, what was it? They had like, uh, like caviar trays or whatever, walking around with AirPods for people to try or something. <laughs> uh, yeah. I so thought, I, they have a lot of options. Yeah. I finally got into the AirPods pro bandwagon with the $169 pair on Amazon. <laughs> yeah. I, I came into the AirPods late because, uh, I never liked the, apple earbuds like, I don't oh, like yeah. hard the hard tips right um but i was like you know what i'll try them like it was like a, i had a i don't remember what the situation was but i was like i'll give them a try and i can always return them and like i absolutely loved them but i i still wasn't crazy about the hard tips um and so when the pros came out it was like okay yeah i've bought into this as a system and now i want the ones with the silicon tips <laughs> yeah yep <laughs> Yeah, I use them a lot, just one button at a time for podcasts. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. They're super nice for walking the dog when you've got, like, the leash you're already oh, yeah. keeping track of. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, can o- I can only imagine I would have gotten tangled at some point. <laughs> the uh, disaster. The stem click is game changer coming from the original AirPods. Like, oh, I have a real button now that I can... Smash your face or your ear. <laughs> versus ta- the tapping never works i never use the touch button the touch tar- target thing for the original airpods but the stem oh. the stem click is just so nice it feels the good. stem is better except for this time of year when i'm wearing gloves ah, outside yeah. and like i can't i can't do it and so like i just want to <laughs> bang on my head like i used to <laughs> <laughs> yeah you need it's uh, not ideal th- but it did thinner, work thinner gloves or something but yeah then it doesn't work to yeah. keep you warm yeah and the ability to flip between transparency and noise canceling is amazing. Yeah, that's yeah, great. That's really nice. The, the transparency is like it's better than my actual. If that they were off, uh, I can hear better with transparency than just the AirPods off because the microphone mm-hmm. like amplifies in good ways. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of disorienting, but like it, you don't totally do like have super hearing. <laughs> you do. <laughs> it's like augmented uh, reality for your ears. That was why I really liked the idea of uh, of the over ears, because like I've thought about buying the what is it the Surface uh, headphones or whatever. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think they have you know like a transparency mode kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, but I like the idea of having that because I 
the latency has gotten low enough on the pros. For whatever reason, it wasn't low enough on the regular AirPods. And I don't know if this was just my setup or if this is actually something different with them. But when I switched to the pros, I tried again for editing uh, my podcasts. And it was low enough that I could, like, do it and yeah. not make me scream internally. Um, <laughs> but it's so, like, you know, I'm usually editing in spurts while, like, I put my kids down and they're coming out every five minutes or I need to be able to listen or whatever. So, like, being able to flip between or being able to put that on transparency but also have it wireless where I can put my computer down and just leave them in my ears and go do whatever I need to do to help them has been Mm -hmm. amazing Um, so I like the idea of having over ears which I would prefer for editing but be able to be wireless and turn on transparency yeah I'm in my own world when I have my Beats Studio 3's on and I feel like I have no idea what's going on in the room around me (laughs) the transparency (laughs) would be so nice uh It'll be weird though to like have people realize that I can hear you with transparency, even though I have these big cans on. It's like yes, I can still hear <laughs> yeah. you talk to you with these things on though. Yeah, it needs to have like a LED ring around uh, one of the cans that just turns green or something that lets people know that you can hear them. <laughs> hmm. uh, so, um, any uh, final thoughts on the original iPad before we wrap it up? It was great. I was more entertained than I thought I would be. <laughs> <laughs> Steve puts on a hell of a keynote. I, I, I miss Steve. Yeah, it wasn't flashy, like, but like they just, I, I don't know. It was just like a great example of demoing a thing that's just fundamentally very good. That's and yeah. like the demo went well, and like they didn't like sell anything that the product couldn't deliver. It was exactly what they said it was going to be, and like. It was all, it was fresh at the time, but Charlie, kind of like you said, like it's all like vaguely familiar if you used an iPhone. So it just, I don't know, it to- totally worked for me. I just realized that... they never showed the VGA or HDMI adapter that they said it hooked yeah, up to projectors. Yeah, they never mentioned uh, that. I think the thing too is like the fact that they wholesale bought in as a complete organization and had every single app updated and optimized for it Mm -hmm. like it's easy to like i don't know so much of these presentations uh, feel like oh of course like like the ipad felt like an obvious product when you watched it but they hit every single thing right and fully bought into it and having you know i lived in in microsoft uh tablet world for a while as a developer and like yeah i've watched them flail around in that space and i it is not easy to take an entire organization and completely focus everybody in on this one thing. And yep. I really think that's why this presentation could be so long and also be engaging is there was just that much stuff to show. And it's not just the product. It's like every single one of their apps uh, was interesting to watch and see how they live in this space. And I, that is really hard to do. That's what I'm hoping we get to see out of the, this AR glasses thing. Cause I'm still not bought into that as a product, but no, I'm not either. I, I kind of want to be disconnected from devices a lot of the well, time. Well, <laughs> there's that too. Yeah. <laughs> but I like seeing somebody, seeing it be just sort of casually exist with an entire ecosystem built around it immediately is, I feel like, a telling thing. Yeah. I mean, you compare it to like Android rolled out dark mode a year ago in mm-hmm. Android 10. And like, I'm still getting updates to Google Apps that add dark mode. Is it um, really only a year old dark mode on Android? Yeah, it it came out the same. Yeah, like uh, the the same year's wow. release as iOS got it. That's crazy. Like, I figured Android th- would have had it like three or four years before. Yeah, I mean, like every manufacturer had a dark mode, but they were all different, and like there's no unified way to do it. So right. like some apps would go dark, some wouldn't. Like if you had huh. a Samsung phone, all the Samsung apps would go dark, but almost no other apps would. Some would have it specially coded to work for Samsung's dark mode. Yeah. Um. But yeah, they finally added their own actual Android dark mode in 2019. Wow. Yeah. I think that's potentially the thing with uh, with if Apple ever goes into foldables too. It's it's another product category that I I haven't fully, uh, fully bought into necessarily, or like I I haven't fully been able to articulate why I, w- I would prefer that. Um, mm-hmm. But you know, if Apple does it, or I d- you don't know it, but if they did it and they approached it in a similar way as this, where it's like, and here is our entire ecosystem and how it works in, with this world. 
if you watch a long presentation like that, you sort of start seeing your life in this new world in a way that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And it makes it so much more compelling. Yeah. I mean, I I feel like there's no way Apple wouldn't do that. Um, I mean, dark mode last year obviously was a simple one, but every Apple app had it right away. Um, if you think about like the M1 Max that just came out, like yeah. every app works. Um, yeah. Some Speaking of watching my emulated flail some at something for a while. <laughs> well, well, that's true. <laughs> like, I, like my mind was just sort of blowing up uh, every time they'd be like, and then this app is is supported and fully optimized for it, and it's like, I don't know. While you're watching it, it's like, of course, obviously that's what they would do. But I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I watched for like a decade or however long as. Microsoft tried ARM uh, Windows multiple runs at it, but it's like, but they could never get Office on it, you know, fully. I think it still yeah. isn't. It, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like their ARM, the Surface, um, uh, whatever their ARM Surface is, like their flagship Surface, Surface still doesn't X run like 32 bit yeah. apps or 64, one or the other. But like, there's still like a whole class of apps that it just can't emulate. Um, <laughs> and the ones that it does emulate like run t- just horrendously. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's like even Microsoft apps. Yes. That's the part. It's like, of co- like I expect that it's difficult to try and get vendors, uh, third party vendors to, to target your sort of niche product. Right. Mm-hmm. And like, it makes sense that Apple would have an easier time because they're going to move their whole product line and everybody has to jump on board and they don't have a choice. Whereas Microsoft doesn't have that option. They can't force, uh, you know, every OEM to go arm, but like you would, exp- you would hope that they could at least get their own <laughs> set the uh, example apps on it. Yeah, exactly. Um, and they didn't do that with, uh, with their whole, like was a UWP, their whole new way of developing apps and it, it can never catch on. Um, mm-hmm. And so it kind of feels like a similar thing's happening here. Although Apple, ironically, Apple might be spurring everybody to get 32 or uh, uh, ARM compatible anyway. And so maybe that'll help. <laughs> so I was playing around with the Photos app. And uh, when you're in the um, all photos view, it, it's nice pinching in and out. I didn't realize this does it where you can pinch into like the day and then out and goes to the year oh yeah Yeah, in the current app yeah that's pretty nice it's no it's no stack but it's not not quite as playful but yeah i think the other interesting thing about watching this is like still nobody else has gotten to this point with a tablet no they're all crap like uh, isn't that isn't that kind of the wild, webOS then? touchpad was the closest thing, but they didn't have any time to progress it. Well, and of course the the BlackBerry. Uh, <laughs> you remember that? Oh yes, the playbook. They were going to reinvent themselves as a tablet. Uh, yeah, the playbook. The, yeah, the tablet playbook. playbook. That's what it was. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh gosh. But I mean, like Android, definitely. Yeah, like it was just assumed when the iPad came out that just like the iPhone. Android yeah. was going to be right along, and then we'd have two big players there, and it just didn't happen. We like, have Fire tablets for media consumption, but yeah, nothing that's like a full yeah. featured experience. Yeah. Actually, l- literally just today, read an article on like Nine to Five Google or Android Central or one of those sites uh, where they had a whole explainer on how to like make an iPad a great Google tablet <laughs> by like getting all Google apps and stuff, and yeah. like syncing your Google accounts through like the the. Uh, settings app and everything and i was like that's just where we're at we're, we're at <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah it's basically like a chromebook uh if you're going for one sort of angle you can kind of make a chromebook an okay tablet or like a, a surface uh laptop but again mm-hmm. it's not it's not real like it's more like a pro but it doesn't definitely doesn't go after the normal ipad i'd love to um, see steve ditch uh or dump on the chromebooks <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> I mean, they're great devices. I I don't, I don't yeah. want to dump on those. Same with the Surface devices. Like I, but the like, Surface is great. There is Hard, not a hardware, cohesive yeah. platform that comes anywhere close to the iPad. Um, yeah, and it's why there's a lot of people that are big Android people that still have iPads for their kids because it it just is the best device in that category. Yeah, and they're cheap now too. Um, yeah, yeah, price. that helps too. <laughs> yeah, throw it in a hard case 
Yeah. Massive. Yeah, that's something the, know, plastic the original iPads in. had so much more creativity with the accessories with some of those third party cases. You had like bubble cases where you'd drop it and it'd like bounce back up and like you had some weird stuff. I think stuff. that oh, still yeah. all exists for the really cheap ones. Does it really? I okay. think it does. Yeah. I feel like I've seen those recently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what my first iPad was actually like a, you know, renewed or a, a pre-owned, you know, cheap iPad we bought for our kids when we were going on a vacation to Florida. And we were like, we need something to survive this. And we could, <laughs> I could use my dog's leash and uh, tie it to the back of the car because they were still in car seats facing backwards. And let me tell you, that thing has gotten a lot of use. And that is why I ended up buying an iPad Pro was because I started, <laughs> I started using it for uh, sketching things yeah. because it was so nice. And then I was like, okay, maybe I do want one of these with the pencil. And uh, <laughs> it, it brought me into that world. But yeah, I mean, it still gets used all the time. It's been a lifesaver in 2020. Yeah. Well. I think that's a good place to to wrap it up. Um, All right, Charlie, uh, where can people find your excellent uh, applications? Dark Noise uh, is the one, right? Yes. Yeah, you can go to darknoise.app, I think. Or, I mean, honestly, the best way is to just find me on Twitter at uh, underscore check EC, and then everything's linked through there. My website, and then you know everything else. Cool. And you also do a, a fantastic interview podcast there. Yeah, yeah, launched. Awesome, yeah. So if you like interviews, which you probably do if you listen to the show, um, check out Launched. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Matt, what are you up to these days? Uh, sure, staying staying very busy. Uh, best place to find me is uh, Twitter as well, uh, Matt, Matt Birchler. And then on YouTube, uh, I've got a channel called Better Computer uh, where I talk about productivity and computer stuff and stuff, again, similar to this show. Awesome, yeah. And... Uh, Happy 2021, everybody. <laughs> yeah, it's going to uh, be a better year. It's going to be a much better year. <laughs> the bar is low. <laughs> the bar is very low. Although Apple managed to get some good products. So I'm curious what they'll do next year. Yeah, inexplicably great year for them. Bad year <laughs> right. every other way. <laughs> Bad year for the world. Uh, yeah. Cool. Well, thank you guys so much for uh, spending a couple hours uh, uh, rewatching this classic uh, keynote with me. Yeah, no, this is fun. Yeah, it was great to be here. Well, that was our commentary of the 2010 iPad introduction keynote. My thanks to Charlie and Matt for their time recording this commentary. And thanks to you for tuning in to iPad Pros in 2020. I'm excited for some of the episodes in the pipeline for 2021 and can't wait to get those out to you. You can send your feedback to me at iPadProsPodcast at gmail.com. If you haven't left a review yet on Apple Podcasts, I'd really appreciate a few minutes of your time today to write one up. Every review is greatly appreciated and really does help send signals to Apple to show this podcast more in search, helping others discover the show. Thank you to those that have already left one. It really does mean a lot. You can also get episodes early over at patreon.com slash iPad pros. If you currently support the podcast over at Patreon or have in the past, that support means a great deal and is also greatly, greatly appreciated. With that, I'll talk to everyone again in 2021. Happy New Year.